give us a call there if you want it for. Guys, what do you think? Chris a bit of sported. Pretty this hoodie, most of you think. 12 volts. same smelly jumper I've been wearing for the last five days. You're right, everybody. I've wet my hair. I hope you don't mind. I've wet my hair. Um, I was gonna... Um, I, I was gonna... Maybe the worst you've ever looked on stream. Now that's what I want to hear from my mods. This is going to turn into a fantastic haircut. See, once this dries, it's going to turn into a fantastic haircut. Esteem and cool mom Sundays. Morty Bishop, Vel Croy, thanks for the subs behind the curtain. Jezebel Melaton, can't be asked too tired and beadro. Jesus Christ, your fucking hair. What hell? Calm your ham, Pam, weaponized Sean and Jack. Thanks for the subs. Kenzo and Chris Fox. Jack, thanks for the sub. Canava is a fucking scam blam. It's a fucking blam. Right, here we go. One, let's get into the trucking. Without further ado. Um let's no fuck about here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hello everybody, sorry I couldn't be on the other weekend. Oh here! Yeah. Velcro, thank, thank you very much, thanks again. Here. Yeah. Compromat. Can't believe you're letting this see you like this. It's part of, it's a reward. It's a reward. You know how if you're, um with a lot of couples, a lot of people in relationships, your reward, your reward, and their reward for you getting to know each other and getting close is you both fart and shite in front of each other. It's like that. This is, this, congratulations, we're familiar enough now that I can show you me, show me, show you me at my worst. Lana Face and Dizzy Roscoe, thanks for the subs. Nice Michael Gove haircut, thank you very much. Rico, Joshy Lance, thanks for the subs. It's really brave of his dad to show his face after what happened. Oh, Ronan. Ronan, it's really brave of your dad to show his face after what happened. Teslik and Howarth, Brain Fairy. Chicken Coops. Die Witness. Planet Yes, Vermin Hair. Cool Mum Sundays. And Simon, thanks for the subs there. Soap me up. Look dirty and I like milkshake. Thanks for the subs. Cycling tips, just get on the fucking bike. Just got on the bike. Right, one trips. One. Let's get into the chat chat. Let's get into it. Um, I'm sorry there isn't a plant. Very sorry. I'm sorry I don't have a backlight. 
my hair, uh, my hair looking dark just merges into the background and makes me look bald when I'm no, <laughs> when I'm no far from it. Me? Bald? Oh. Da -na -na. Da -na. A Venus in sofa bed, turbo list of things the subs. Can you blow my palm with a kiss, please? Mwah. Lemons McBack flip. Can't wait, thanks for the sub. Can't wait till my hair looks like yours. I Aether Trap, thanks for the sub. Hi, everybody. Um, if you if you come across confident enough, people, even they'll ride bananas. If you're confident enough, people will um, will will like what you've got. This is the wrong place. But you know what? Okay, you know what? Mr. Paul Chuckle, thanks for the sub. Been following since 2016. Thank you very much, mate. Jaffa, thanks for the fiver. Let me apolog apologies about the self promo thing yesterday. Didn't mean it. Big man didn't think it through. It won't happen again. Jack Dempo, Sandy Shawlands, Mikey, Oliver Oil, thanks for the subs. Honesty! Aye, Jaffa. Listen, every cunt. In the fucking self promo fucking channel in my fucking Discord. You've got fucking cunts posting links to other people's fucking channels. Now, what, what is this self about that? Now, you might think, what's the big deal? I'm just, here's a channel that I like. It's not, fuck, it's not the name of the channel. That's not the name of the channel. It is, nay. Uh, channel recommendations. It is self-promo. Promote yourself. Here I am. We want to see you. No, some cunt, some somebody who doesn't come onto the fucking channel. Don't want somebody who doesn't come onto Discord and might not even come onto this fucking channel. And we're all going to them. It's for people who are familiar with this community. A place for them to post in there. Everybody, check out my channel. Check it out. Come and come and watch me, please. I, I've got into streaming. Please come and check me out. Oh. Because before you fucking know it, once you let that one slide, you basically get any cunt coming and going, uh, all right, well, seeing as we're doing that, let me... Uh, here's this person, that person. I, I don't know if you've seen Ninja. You might like him. Um, um, he, here's a uh, Doctor Disrespect. Oh, that's right. He's not in email. Um, but here's a link to fucking YouTube. You know. No, I'm not coming. I've not come to repair him. I've just repaired. It's uh, coming to sleep. I'm coming to sleep. Self promo, everybody. And I'll tell you another fucking thing. See some of you cunts in that self promo channel, you just better fucking get a grip by the way with the quality. The fucking, your webcams, your cameras, whatever you want to call them, are fucking tiny. Why the fuck is it so small in the fucking screen? It's like, it's like fucking that, it's like that size man, it's like that size on the screen. It's like you, people, people with a fucking camera right down here, like this size. This is, this is the face. Hello. I'm down here. Like that, it's like, it's like that size, it's like, it's like that, see if you imagine the wee rectangle that I make my, with my fingers, it's like they take up that amount of space on the screen. And they're playing the Biggest amount of fucking shite. Uh.
get your fucking face £2,000 on a camera or don't bother. No, 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 no. Oh, does it cost money to show like a fucking image this size? Is it per pixel? Come on, show your fucking face. Oh, I don't mean the people who don't want to show their face. There's people who don't want to show. I've been educated about that. There've been people who've told me. Let me. I don't. I, I don't have the confidence for that. I don't like it. But I like the confidence that comes with having a community and chatting away and streaming and all the rest of it. Right, I get it. But see, if you're going to show your face, and if you if you're like, no, I do. I do want to show it. It's fucking this size. That size. It's tiny. We fucking hang down here. Come on. The other fucking day, what was it I said? Surprised you can show yours, says right bananas. Oh, thanks for reminding me. Got you on VIP, everybody. Um, you know, you get people, they've got, I said this to somebody who was auto hosting the other day. I said, I, I thought to myself, I kind of keep my mouth shut here. They had a wall behind them, brightly fucking lit. Pure brightly lit. And see, see, and see their face. And in and, and, and the shadows. Occasionally they lean back and there's this pure bright white, bright light on their head. Then they, then they go like that in the back in the shadows. You're like, look, fucking either stick a fucking mirror and reflect this, the, the light into your face. This is what I said to the guy, I said, get yourself a wee mirror. I said, or bump the fucking exposure up so that your, your, you know, your face is like, you know, well lit and the background's like blown out, if that's what it comes to. This simply isn't good enough. Come on, get into it. Get into it. Enjoy the quality. I'm fucking telling you. No, no. Right. Let's get it. Come on. Where's your plant? It's a uh, Lynn painted the stairs, and she 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 moved the plant out of this room, and then um I can't fucking remember. I don't. Daniel Critch and, and right on things for the, the subs and three quid. You played me at Street Fighter Four, but I deleted the vods. Mate, you should be fucking. Glad that I deleted the VODs by the way because uh, you're going to want to erase all traces of me if we ever play again because I'm just so good now. Nah, I can't even lie, I'm fucking shit, always will be. Where am I going? Wait, 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 wait. Right, hold on. Job market. Honesty. Let's go to Grangeville, Idaho. And on the way there, we might chit chat about various matters. Mega Dansky, thanks for the sub. You don't look a day over 40, thanks, mate. Thanks for the 17 on 3 sub. Enigma Troy, thanks for 200 bits. Your hair looks lovely. I hope you've had a nice weekend. Could you just say Craigie Boy with gusto? Craigie Boy! There's only so much gusto I can do at this time of night. Everybody, if you just checked out my. I wet my hair before I came on. I've been cycling recently. And I feel so much better. I've been eating a bit of chocolate tonight, so I might feel, I might come across as a wee bit. Make come across. Ooh, fuck. I might come across as a wee bit tired. Lauren thinks this up. Big day for the parish. Gavanch and Cosmic Teehee. Lewis thinks the subs. Anyway, to read your old travel blogs, deleted a lot of them. I saved them like offline, I had an offline copy, but 
recently I've decided to get rid of a lot of old stuff. I've, del I've decided to wipe out my past. I mean, I've kept certain pictures, but I just, I, I was just, I was just getting rid of some stuff on my computer, and I thought, get rid of it. Get rid of it. I know, but it might be good to look back on. There is no looking back on. You don't have enough time to look back on anything. If you've got enough time to look back, your life's over. But Daniel might want one day like to read your travels. Daniel can go on his own fucking travels, right? And anyway, Daniel will only want to read it. Daniel's not fucking interested in his dad because his dad's a, a stupid old fucking man. Hold on. So I thought, get rid of it and move on. Just get rid of it and move on. I've kept old pictures, but ooh, 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 ooh. evil neuro thinks they're two hundred bits. Shame to hear you wire into new streamers with low kick quality. Was the no? It's no low, no low kick quality. That's not what I'm saying at all, mate. Must be time to move on and let the next generation of streamers take over. Gives a wee sound. Now I know you're just baiting me, but I'm gonna I'm gonna bite it anyway. Just in case there are some people who don't get it. I'm not saying for a fucking second. What is it with these people with grainy video cameras? Grainy cameras? I'm not saying that. I'm not talking about that at all. I'm just talking about wee things like the size that they've got, that, you know, the, the, like what I've got here, right? Pure fucking teensy. Teensy. Now see if this was 1999. And really, you're not going to get any bigger than fucking 240 by fucking 160, whatever the fuck it is. Um, fair enough. But come on. I like seeing people. Digital laxative. What's the damage? Thanks for tier two, 13 months, mate. Jumbo, thanks for three quid. Hold on, let me catch up. Let me catch up. Sorry. Sorry. Should always start at the bottom. Um, Zan, thanks for the sub. Can we get a channel for Dead by Daylight players on your Discord? Being an official one this weekend, it's full of cunts. Of course it is. Of course it is. The game's full of fucking cunts that people are in the chat. Disgusting people. Jordan and Bestie Boy, thanks for the subs. Um. Have I not got a... Right, what I'll do is I'll create a channel on my Discord for people to team up, play games. I call it Play Together or something like that. Um, for, for people to organise. I did, I used to have it and then I got rid of it, I don't know why. I, Chris, a bit, could you, could you call it, uh, just call it Play Together? And put it... Obviously, no one, no one Lummy's Twitch, but you know one of the other ones. Thank you very much. Hello, everybody. By the way, a few random names. Bear hug. Bear hug. Enjoying your VIP. It's getting wiped out. Um, hello, Ron Welt. Good wizard. See, I say hello to non subs. Willie ninety four. You're getting your VIP taken off you. In other ones, discount bladders. You're getting unVIP'd. Why is that? Because everybody's getting unVIP'd. The other day, on Friday, I read out the full 100 VIPs list. It wasn't as entertaining as I thought it was going to be. But that's that. The Mora, 
kommende morder. There will be no VIPs. I'm deleting them all. With the exception of... The last person who got VIP'd, so that they get, you know, they, they're not just like VIP'd for like a week and then they get fucking deleted. And also, is it Millsy? Because he gambled, Millsy gambled everything. Millsy risked it all. I said, to, was it Millsy? Millsy, no Millsy. Millsy. Mm. For makeup Mills is a mod hmm? oh what is it then who am I thinking um oh god I've, I've, I've fucking I've lost sorry lost my place again um, Toxic Ash, Bossington, Clyke Boy, FS Rooster, Bomb, thanks for subs and 500 bits, thank you very much. Funk Devoy, thanks for 200 bits. Thank you very much, everybody, can I get a shout out? Can I get a shout out for uh, Funk Devoy, please? Who I believe is streaming three times a week. I had a wee glance at one of the VODs. If you want your advanced, actually, actual serious electronic music creating streams Funk Devoid an actual like an actual guy who actually makes music if you know what I mean Mike Pride thanks to 200 bits my missus is trying to sleep any chance you could get a wee kiss night night me? no I can't do that mate do you want a wee bedtime kiss? Muff, Ballata Boy, thanks for the subs. Bald is beautiful. I'm Alex the Kid, thanks for the A13 sub. Frankie, you're a good wee girl, you're a good dog. You're a good dog. Mitchell Jones, Jambo, thanks for subs and three quid. Jesus Christ, you talk some shite, but I still love you. I did, ain't I? <laughs> I'm into a shite, I talk, man. <laughs> well, maybe I should get your ideas for you. Hello, Dando. Well, I see. Where did I get my ideas for? Bantaland. Um, digital laxative. EC twenty three. Thanks for the subs. Haven't played Death Stranding, so didn't watch that playthrough. So Love and Red Dead. I'm I'm enjoying it, but strangely, I'm not quite enjoying it as much as Death Stranding. Death Stranding. It's weird. It's weird. It's weird. You know what I need today? I need to be... I've tried to be decent. I've tried to not kill horses that much. But I think the only way I'm going to get a buzz is doing really, really bad things like shooting as many horses as I can. Um, Blowing people's heads off like like side, side quest characters. Why horses? Because everybody loves them. Go horse hunting. You know, just just every now and again. I, you know, I like, I like, I, I mean, I, I don't get, I don't quite get horses in real life. I don't understand them. They've got, they're kind of expressionless. I don't know. Strange animals. 
You know, like rabbits. Nothing against rabbits. Rabbits are nice. But they're equally kind of expressionless. Kind of expressionless. Horses have just got this, other than when they show their teeth, this kind of expressionless fucking face. Where they see dogs. Fucking dogs look like, dogs look like humans. Sometimes, you know, that look in her face when... That look in her face when, when they're kind of begging for food, but they don't want to look like they're begging, they're just sort of like nearby just in the hope and if you look at them they kind of look away but the way their eyebrows move I don't know cats and dogs have just got so many expressions to the untrained eye to, to all you horse lovers you might be like what are you fucking on about horses have got a wide range Expressions got good five, six expressions, but I'm just talking about horses are like cows, it's got this big long face at Disney fucking day in. Cows are cute. I didn't say they weren't they. I didn't say they weren't they. I'm simply talking about the expressions. That's all I'm talking about. The range of emotions that can be shown on the face of those animals. That's all. That's all. Um... Hans Moment thanks to the five ever ever considered playing Amnesia or other horror games. I played Amnesia for a bit but got bored. Horror horror games are really boring for me because I'm I'm a I'm cool as a cucumber. Mitchell Jones, Captain Bell Sprout, thanks for the subs. Is there an animal you would consider your favourite? Do you have a least favourite? Um my favourite animal is either the dog or the cat. The classics. If you ask me what my favourite Prince song is, I used to say Pop Life, but now I just got just got fucking nineteen ninety nine. And then somebody can come out with, oh, what about if I was your girlfriend? Or, or they might come out with something like, no, what about, and they name some fucking late 90s or some 2010 fucking song you've never heard of. Get to fuck. 1999. Um, right, sorry, let me catch up here. Susinda, Porparella, Deadly Cowpack, thanks for the subs, thanks for the early birthday. Birthdays on Tuesday, everybody. HD Boomer, wear a helmet. You wear a fucking helmet. Thanks for the sub. Sean Goucher, thanks for 300 bits. Good night to Paula. Happy birthday and good night, Paula. Manny Bellis, thanks for the 513 sub. Thanks for streaming in this non-toxic community. Yes, it is. Even can I ask a wee favour, says Disaster. Could you wish Steve McDougall a happy birthday from your pals Laura and Darren? He's a fan of you, not me. Here, Steve McDougall. Happy birthday for your pals Laura and Darren. Irene and Neil Bank here, thanks for subs. Shout out to your French pregnant wife, Aurel. Aureli. Aureli. Hello there. Good luck pronouncing that, mate, because I still fucking can't. Aureli. Um, Irene Brew and 
local boy thinks the subs local boy thinks the ten gifted subs there. Thank you very fucking much. Ten Smithy thinks the three quid. Could you repurpose the VIP badge to only be for streamer pals and close friends? The streamer I mod for does this and it works better fuck right off. Grandstand Ryan Farrelly thanks for the subs. Happy birthday to you. Judge Boy thinks the 300 bits. Sorry, let me scroll down here. I'm, I need to catch up a minute. If I scroll up here. Scroll down there. Can I make that? Can I? I don't. That's better. That's better. Scroll that down there. And scroll that down a wee bit more. I don't. Sorry. Sorry, everybody. Jenks. Thanks for the sub. Local boy. Thanks for another 10 gifted fucking subs. Local boy, I hope you're not, hope you're not fucking wrecked, mate. I hope you're not wrecked. Thank you very much. Cairns thanks to 320 bits. Have you spoken about the guy recommending you to wear gloves when you're cold yet? No yet. Any chance of Dead by Daylight tonight? Um. I don't, I don't think so, but I'll tell you, I was fucking playing Survivor today, like by myself against like, just randoms on the internet, Um fucking get your heart racing, I was also playing against Daniel, me and him, fucking get your heart racing. Um, it gives me a sec, gives me a sec, gives me a sec. There we go. Um, I, r please remind me to talk about. I, I, I was. Hold on. Zero Edge, Zero Rage, Hedgley thinks the subs and bits. Horses are just meat bikes anyway. Fuck off. Dioxin thinks the three quid. Music, no music. Can I play any music? I'm sorry, but I can't. Trim Trap and Step Brother thinks the subs. Thank you very much. James McClellan McClell thinks the two hundred bits. By the way, remind me. I just honestly see if it, see if you tweet about. Oh, I'm going cycling. You got these cunts tweeting you like you've never fucking cycled before. Oh, you're, you're going to love it, Lemmy. Going out for a walk, you're going to love it, Lemmy. Just be careful when you're walking that you don't trip or anything. That's that's just that's, that's one wee tip. That's one wee tip I'm going to leave you, Lemmy. And somebody said, oh, you picked a bad time, eh? Start back on your bike, you know, coming up for winter. Just make sure you have gloves. The gloves that I've got, I wear two pairs. A thin pair and a f... Like, so, I'm going to be cycling about when my horn's freezing because I'm cycling into the kind of cold air. And I'm like, oh, what the... I wish there was a, an item of clothing that can go over the hands to keep them warm. Who the fuck do these cunts think they're talking to? Fucking 46 and fucking Tuesday. I probably I was probably cycling before they were born. Incredible. Incredible. Oh, I went to see Tenet the other day. No spoilers, please. Honestly, didn't know what the fuck was going on. On many occasions, I, I got the gist of it. And certain bits, and but there's other bits. No, I, I'll say again, honestly, no spoilers and no joke spoilers because the mods can't tell if you're joking or not. Let me just say this. As it shows you in the trailer, 
it's kind of about being able to reverse time a bit and make certain things go back in time you don't just send it back like back to the future which is another thing I don't want to talk about it but the thing actually you see it as it's travelling back in time Um. It was just, in my opinion, just too fucking complicated. And I mean, I mean, it was just like, it was just too complicated. You know how you can get a film and it's kind of like too dark? Or the, the, the dialogue's too quiet, which, by the way, it was, and lots of people have complained about it. It's too muffled. You know how you can get almost like a fucking fact? It's just too fucking complicated. Like, if you've got a certain amount of people... Got them all together, like say 10,000 people, and asked them, What did you think of that film? I think most of them, most people, would say, I didn't really know what was going on in about a bit quarter, yeah, if you add it all up. What exactly is happening at this bit here exactly? Why is she. So, so, so why did she at that point then. Is it no? But could he know of? But how come? You know, like that. I honestly, quite literally, lost the fucking plot. Again, no spoilers. Like, see, see, Inception, or like his other ones, right? Inception, um, the Prestige. The other ones. I've, I've still not watched the whole lot of Memento. They're ones you can watch and have a wee think about and go, right, so that, right, so that, that that's the dream, right? And then you use that device within that dream to make your dream in the dream. It's actually like another level done and time goes slower, even slower in there. And then in that dream, you have another level. You use that dream machine inside that fucking dream which is already in a dream to go another level down and time goes even slower and then you've got four le- levels fucking deep and that's where things get very fucking serious right you can you can kind of work out so you're, you're jumping between like the, the three levels down and then it cuts to the second level down you're, you're going right 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 you know you're sort of you're you're keeping on top of it you're kind of keeping on top of it you think, I've got it, I think, yeah, yeah, got it. Complicated, sometimes your head sort of goes, wait, 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 so, I, so, yep, yep, yep. But with Tenet, a lot of it, I was like, the, t- the talking at the start, see the talking, see about the first ten minutes of the film, a lot of talking dead fast, and I'm like, wait, wait, hey, whoa, 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 who the fuck is he anyway? And honestly, I kind of tuned out in the way that I used to tune out when I used to go to the pub when I was a teenager or 20s and I couldn't hear what people were saying because of the music. My hearing's a bit shite when I was like kind of eating a bit, a bit loud nearby. Always has been. And I would just tune it. I would tune it. I would just sort of go into my wee world and just go, right, I'm just going to the fucking bar. Um, and just get wrecked. Dr. Ronan, thanks for turning a bit, sorry I've missed somebody. Um, James McClellan, thanks for turning a bit. Alright, let me listen to your autobiography that bit. You went, Dracula cunt had your stitches. Fucking amazing, it was, it was funny that time. Go off the train at fucking Edinburgh and there's this guy going to meet me. Kinda like that, see that thing I got my nose there? But it wasn't that, it was like an actual cut. Did it, was that a cut or was that a fucking plaster? He just looked like he'd been, like I said in the book, scalped with something, like walloped with something when he was in rat form. 
Local boy, thanks for gifting me 10 subs. Thank you very much. Owen, thanks for 2213 sub. Did you know that... Uh, all right. A channel that reacts to things, they like my vid, they react to, they like my accent. Look at me, pure emotionless. Oh, aye, right. Some people watched one of my, my sketches or whatever and they liked my accent. That's brilliant. Got to check it out. Just got no feelings, man. I've got no feelings. Have I been to Vegas? Yes. Like, if you if you put yourself in my shoes, you make a sketch show, and you're on the telly, can't believe it, I'm on the telly. Second series, yes, I'm on the telly, and how, how will people like this one, compared to the first one, and then you do a third one, and you stop it, and then you do a wee compilation thing or something, and every now and again somebody might use your stuff for something. I've seen... My Steel Was Heaven Feathers one pop up here and there. Um, oh, Lemmy. Lemmy. PewDiePie's used, me, uh, used you and I don't give a fuck about him, thank you very much. Uh, Lemmy, there's this group of guys that watch videos and and they watched your sketch, uh, that sketch you might want to see. Lol, let me, um, there's a guy on guy on Twitch who, 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 who watched one of your sketches. Who's that again? It's the guy who, like a few years ago, got into trouble for uh, being racist, and he also got into trouble for being homophobic. Oh, aye, so what, tell me, what is it about this guy again? He watched one of my videos and liked it? Oh, brilliant. No, but that aside, that aside, I'm even, even, even that aside, right? That aside, that's me just being, being funny. I've seen, I've seen a number of people watching my things and kind of reacting to it. Um... After, like, say, the sixth time. Don't mean to sound like a pure fucking spoiled brat or something like that. But, you're like, you know you know what it's going to be. They're going to watch it and they're going to laugh. They're going to say something maybe about the accent, about how they like it, or how they kind of quite understand what you're saying. Or they kind of laugh at it. What what you meant today, man? What sheer arrogance? Uh, well, Gus is saying, what you meant today? I mean, what you meant today? What am I meant today? I mean, what you meant today when people already come up to you and they like your stuff and use their own here, maybe because you you like some of my old stuff, and so you you already experienced you're already experiencing that. And then somebody says, Lemme, I need I want you to see something. It's somebody watching one of your sketches and saying that they like it. You need to check this out. Really? So this person was like watching one of my comedy sketches and they were laughing. Where's it? Who I can you send me that? Can you say oh don't stop everybody, stop the stream? Stop. Can you send me that? Where's that? Where's that? Can you send? Can you send? Anybody got a link? Anybody got a link? Anybody got a link? I remember when this used to be funny. He had got pay. You remember when this used to be funny? You just earned yourself a 10 minute time out. Take that time to have a think about your behaviour. 
uh, or joking aside, anybody else tries any of that party, I'm talking about 10, 10 week time it. Um, he's a sound. Um, no, listen, Owen. Right, listen. Right, you know what we're going to do? I'm going to react to this person reacting to me. Right, there we go. Right, let's do it. Come on. To everybody who's 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 subbed and all the rest of it, by the way, I'm gonna get I'm, I'm gonna get a shout out in a minute, right? Hold on. Um what is it? MXR plays. Uh, right, let's see. Alright, careful now. Ginny, quit playing your stupid game because we've just hit one million subscribers. Alright. Um, what's going on here? Uh, this girl will do anything for likes on social media, and then it's a picture. Right, now you're all right. Now you're all right. Now you're all right. See, that's why. That's why I don't bother fucking looking at fucking end, man. This girl will do anything for likes on social media. You're watching other people's fucking videos and going, oh, look, I like the accent. Get yourself to fuck. Right, where am I? Go get him reacting to that. Right, got to everybody stop the fucking negativity. Um, sleep cycles and Dr. Ronan, thanks for the subs. Uh, uh, can you wish our pal Brian a happy birthday for Tuesday, please? He's going to be 46. The old cunt. Happy birthday when it comes on Tuesday, Brian. Local boy, thanks for gifting me 10 subs. Martin Collier, is there a toilet in here? Mr. Me, th Mr. Me, thanks for the subs. Thank you very much, mate. Thanks, local boy. Thanks for 1,400 bits. A few subs for your trips. I'm unfortunately walking for a home duration. Decent will laugh. Walk during the stream. Blah, blah. Thank you very much. Local boy, that's very generous. You don't need any more generosity. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, local boy. Cade Pond, Mickey, Stenbones, Hank, Scorpion, Scorpio, Miasma, Ames, yo. Thanks for the subs. Thank you very much, everybody. Ames, yo. I do believe that you're the very first 25 fucking month sub that I have seen. Ladies and gents, we are officially into the second year, year two, of me being a partner or affiliate or something, I'm not quite sure. Ladies and gents, that's, that's the first 25 months I've seen. Thank you very much. Two years everybody who remembers back in the old living room um well, let's just go on that one right oh sorry wait 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 Plebless Gertrude Simon Hemsworth thinks he subs in three quid do you still get the same buzz from music you love I have a sobriety question same but I don't get no I don't get a buzz from music at all Spark Bob and Hedgley thinks for subs and bits. I won't say anything about horses. Happy birthday for Tuesday. Biff Jerky thinks for 1500 bits. Hi, Lemmy, my Northern Irish boyfriend, I'm American, has been showing me a content on Northern Irish accent because it was abysmal last time visited. Thank you very much. Um, work on your Scottish accent. There's, quite, there's a few Scottish accents. Oh, maybe. I wouldn't try and copy me if you want to speak in a, an, an international Scottish accent. If, so, if there is such a thing. But if you're planning on moving here. And uh, it might 
it might work, it might help. Hello, care cakes. Hedgley, thanks for 200 bits. Uh, um, uh, Gak, thanks for 200 bits there. What's your favourite sketch show and or your favourite stand-up? Uh, favourite sketch show <laughs> other than my own. <laughs> um, I love Tim and Eric. Awesome show. Great job. But, you know, joking aside, thank you. Shit. Come off. Off it. Out of that. Um, what was I going to say there? Listen, can I just say what I was saying earlier about oh I don't give a fuck about people liking my stuff or something what I'm saying specifically is when say somebody says oh you need to ch check out this video okay. no I'm, I'm sounding money I'm sounding money I have seen about half a dozen or about a dozen actually kind of reaction videos to people there's Chris a bit translating for me he doesn't care about people reacting to his stuff Chris a bit thank you very much for translating for me thank you I'm kind of interested I'm kind of interested. See if somebody comes up to us and says that they like a particular sketch or something like that. I like that. But, um, I go, just shut up. I'll just shut up. If you look, if you watch a channel that where they react to stuff and you see me pop up, you're going to tell me, aren't you? So I don't mean to go like that. I don't fucking, I don't, you tell me for. I don't care. I don't mean to come across like that. I know that I, I'm coming across like that, but I just want to apologise. I suppose what I'm trying to do is apologise. You've got a wee attitude about you. I know I've got a, I've got my mad heat on. Listen, everybody. Cycling has really put a lot of energy back into me. Not so much right now because it's late and I've been eating chocolate. But... I'm I'm so glad I'm back on my bike. Da -na 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 -na. Toon Army and Panzer Monkey Declan thinks the subs. Any tips for leaving company and living on my own? I'm moving out for the first time soon. I'm proper anxious about leaving company and living them on any tips I can't give any tips because you're different for me I really like my own company I could be alone for an extremely long time I really need internet though you know I don't I couldn't I couldn't really cope with just completely being alone in the internet I like getting on with people via the internet not so much in real life though or at least I'm, I'm not bothered. I'm no... I'm not interested. About how many years do you think you could stay inside? The rest of my life, right? The rest of my life, no bother. With ease. Uh, Biggie and Gail Helm. Slime time, thanks for subs. Has anyone got your head tattooed on them? Aye. Custom socks? No, no, not tonight. It doesn't go no, 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 not tonight. That's like no, 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 19. It goes not tonight, not, not tonight. Uh, Geo, Oscar, Oscar Tank, thanks for the subs and bits. Got my final exams tomorrow. Let me, nothing like relaxing, truck and streaming. This beautiful, like, toxic community send us off. Thank you very much. All the best of it. Heatwig, thanks for the sub. An Australian who's just moved to San Diego for my Masters. Have you ever travelled somewhere for a long period of time and felt out of place? Just sort of generally when me and Lynn were travelling about, just a wee feeling of... Nobody knows what you're saying and... Not, nothing big. 
not like I've moved there to live and work, that kind of thing. You know, like I want to make a go at it here. I want to fit in. I've never, never been to a place like that. Toonami. Uh, slime time. Biggie. Calm down, kid and Fronky. Thinks the subs these streams are a total vibe. Judge boy thinks the tuna bits. Can you tell my bam brother Calm to go to bed? He had Callum, yeah bam, go to bed. Fucking part on you, cunts tonight, man. Maybe it's just me. Maybe, maybe I'm just changing. Listen, don't use change, by the way. There's nothing wrong with you. It's me. It's not you. It's me. I remember there was a song in Australia by, I think, like the Australian X Factor pop idol. Australian idol. 2006 that would have been when I was there maybe a previous one it's not me it's you was the song West Ferns thanks for the fiver Euretha Franklin thanks for the sub your autobiography made me cry less than I thought it would and laugh as much as I thought it would which was a lot glad you liked it Dope Devil, Dead by Daylight Survivor, game, no the night, no the night, I'm going to go to bed at a reasonable time, I just came on for a bit of truck and a bit of chit chat, I was chatting to um, Kate earlier, Kate, would you mind me saying what you said on Toasty stream, or do you want me to just shut up? Go for it. Kate's coming out of Glasgow. Kate came out of Glasgow last last year. Um, if you don't mind, if you don't mind me repeating your words, Kate, and I hope this is all right. But you were after like a year and a fucking no, no, a pure year of hell, but a fucking seriously bad year. Of various things in your life that were fucking crap. Um, didn't you blank Kate last time? You shut your face and listen. Um, and then this fantastic, beautiful community led by the fantastic and beautiful me came into Kate's life via. I said him, I said, I said, I said, I said I, 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 by chance, by fortunate chance, duet of um, Bordelling and then Dreams by Fleetwood Mac, which really that's what should have uh, blew up on the internet, not the Ocean Spray guy. And due to that, and coming into this fantastic community and all the rest of it, and then becoming one of my most trusted mods and trusted digital friends, um, she decided, you know what I'm going to do? Fuck this, I'm going to Glasgow. I'm going to Glasgow, fuck it. She thought, you know what? Fuck it. She went to Glasgow. What's this? Need to headbutt a friendly reminder at RSVP because you're the only country who has and it's fine, my fucking not sit here. Dando, I have accepted the invite. I am now in the, cunt, the CNT club. I have got it default. I'm in two clubs though. I'm in the Rage Club. I'm in the Rage Club and the CNT club. And it wouldn't be right for me to just go and make the CNT club, the cunt club, knew the default one because I was in, I was in the rage one, but I have accepted it. I have accepted it. I have accepted it. I'm in. Do you like the rain every day? 
So, last time Katie came here, lots of people met up, met up with um, uh, met up with. There's a big, there's a bit of a get together. Uh, who was there? Nelson and I out with Kate. There was Sinead, Chris Abet, Pink Exigen, I think. But I didn't. And I'll tell you why, I'll tell you why. I don't really like meeting up with people. Ask James. I don't. Um, like see the day for example I met up with James I met up with James a few days ago for the first time in about a fucking year right frowned out in Alexio dope devil Duck Hunter thanks for subs thank you very much mate Nuku Mickey Chicken Jedge Boy thanks for subs and bits at le least horses can't do react videos aye they've got that in their favour Savage Diarrhea in uh, Kagaku thanks for the subs Ladabo Sightseer Owl Cragsy Ginger Majanjo thanks for the subs Yorkshire for Yo Yoker Elisa did I just move it the way I read more there? so unlike me what's what's changed? Something's, something's changed with me ever since I started cycling Adam and Nate Dando thanks again for the subs and bits Conservation, Andrew, thanks for the subs. Um, Red Dead Redemption 2, I'm enjoying it. But I'm no being as fucking vicious. Like, see, see the more everybody see when I play Red Dead Redemption 2 tomorrow. I'm honestly just going to fucking blow everybody's fucking heads off. Everybody's getting it. Everybody's getting it, man. Honestly. Everybody's getting it. The real dark quart, thanks for the 200 bits. Thanks for the early happy birthday. Bear thanks for the 200 bits. Lemme, could you make my new voicemail? Say, Theo, can he pick up right now so you just go away, yeah, bam. This is the only time I'm doing this, by the way, for the rest of the, the fucking month. Hello, this is Lemmy. Theo, can he pick up right now so just go away, yeah, bam. <laughs> Potter. <laughs> Hope you like that. <laughs> uh, aye. So, so, Kate came all the way here. Uh, met up with various people to a place her heart gravitated towards Glasgow uh, and I didn't even fucking bother meeting up with her uh, meeting up with her uh, I didn't even, didn't even step out didn't even step out of this I so so with James I met up with James 1030JH that is who is like honestly one of the only three people in real life that actually like do you want to go out and like go for a cycle or go and get something to eat or something which in includes which is him i last seen you for secondary school when I, we were in set, uh, school together and donnie that i used to work with and that is it the day so we met up about last week i've known really really met up with him in about a year like I bumped into him once and we chatted for about 10 minutes or something and that was about it right no fucking met up with him for ages but we arranged to date the other day hello Sheila two more than you disaster that's it disaster as you get this fuck get to this age disaster I don't actually know what age you are as you get to this lifestyle your circle of friends gets smaller and smaller and smaller. And I'll that's just the way I like it, man. Daz is older than you. 
doubt it. Local boy thinks of 300 bits. In your opinion, what will be your favourite game at the end? Death Stranding or Red Dead? Death Stranding. Robinson thinks for the sub. 250 days after fucking booze feeling mint. All the best of it and keep up through the boredom. Just, just like the rain, everybody. Um, the day I went out for a cycle and I thought, here it's Sunday. I might get in touch with, um, I might get in touch with James again and say, James, fancy a wee cycle, just a wee one. I thought, uh, no, don't really want it. Who know? Don't know. I know. Donny once got in touch with me. A few months ago saying, you know, if you're ever up for a cycle, I think he said that, I don't know. I thought I could get in touch with Donny, I've not seen Donny for a few months. Maybe get in touch with him, go for a wee cycle, and I thought, no. There are people I fucking like, there are people I know and have seen and spoken to them about things. Private things. Things I would be worried about committing to fucking messages in case they fall into the wrong hands. Couldn't be asked. So, Lynn says I'm antisocial, right? In a sense I'm antisocial, but I'm very social. See here? See here, I need to come on here and see yous. I need to come on here and see yous. This is social slime. I need to come on and see yous. I love going on fucking Twitter. I need to check out Twitter. I need to fucking talk a lot of shit and see what people think of it. I need to. So I'm social. But see, in terms of meeting uh, people, I'm just... Honestly, I'm just no fucking interested. I prefer to know people through the medium of the internet. I don't get anything out of it. Uh, you know, I don't really get a lot out of it. I don't think to myself, you know, this is alright, but I really want to meet up with them in person. Just for that kind of human connection, you know, you've got the person in front of you. I don't feel it. I just don't. I just don't. Um, this is a perfect game to chat to, isn't it? John thinks for the sub. Thanks for making this bleak lockdown life all the better, but it seems you're welcome. Crow Money thinks for the sub. High octane, mate. Calvo Ro Ross Scott thinks for the sub. I may have just bring my fucking boss, you don't for the fucking boy. Shogun, thanks for the sub. Um, so Kate's coming here between... Like, basically, you're sort of running about Christmas time. For, like, a month. Um, if you don't mind me repeating, Kate, you did say it in Toasty's stream. So hopefully, that makes it alright to say. But... Um... The situation is, your wains, you're grown, you're fairly grown up wains. They're no like five. Um, are saying, we're going to stay where, uh, our da. 2015. We're going to stay where, uh, our da aired the kind of Christmas period. And you didn't fancy just being in the house yourself. And you're just like, right, you know what, fuck it. Let's go back. Let's go back. So. So uh, me, and, me and Kate were messaging each other. Because people are saying, oh, good. People are saying the stream, oh, definitely we'll have a meet up. I was thinking watching Toasty's stream when they're all talking about meeting up. I was thinking, 
I wonder if I should, I wonder if I should go this time, right? I wonder if I should go this time. Now, I know there'll be people saying, let me, why are you talking like we're all pure begging for you to come out and grace us with your fucking company? I know people are there like that, but, you know, they might be like, oh, would you like to come out and meet up? Every, we're all meeting up, right? Um, and I think, no, I don't want that. I don't like that. I don't want to meet anybody. I want to get anything out of it. In fact, all I get is just kind of like, uh, just bad feelings. Um, the fear of boredom, the fear, of, uh, the, the the fear of uh, you know, what if what if some of these people who I get on with and I like as streamers, I meet up with them in real life and they're past fucking shit. And I have the pure go like that. <laughs> like I'm on a panel show. You know, you get people on panel shows, they pure fake laugh, even though they don't find it funny. Because they've got to, because the camera's on them. Everybody else will effectively be a camera. I don't mean because they're streaming, I mean with their eyes. And I'll have to go like that. <laughs> Listen, I need to, I need to, I need, I need, I need, I need to head and make sure Daniel's in bed. But you said these way, Lynn. Just in case Lent ends happen with Lynn, you know, I really need to get back. Um, It's 2pm. <laughs> nah, it's getting late. It's getting late. But it's four o'clock in the afternoon. I know, but look, it's winter, it's kind of getting dark. Um, it's not so much social anxiety, it's honestly, it's this simple. Online communications are generally problem free for me. Face to face, there are some complications. It's a pretty sunset, isn't it? There we go. <gasps> hey! What? What? Eh, uh, what? Right, so I changed the camera angle and I melt into the fucking grin. Nice sunset though. Um, 1030, JH, hello there, I was just talking about how how much a good time we had all day. Stalk and Puggy Man, no. Mr. Butthash, Grievous, John, thanks for the subs. Fucking, I, I didn't learn fucking scraggle it. Fraggled it. Um. So. What I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted by. Phasing. Teleport, a teleport. Teleport a fucking accident that put me off into the grin was um, I I think to myself right so pitch cycling it was here ten thirty what 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 I was talking about was the fact that we went out right and you're a pal I mean that I've met in real life and we chat about things right but see, the day I was thinking, I was out cycling a day, and I thought, I'll get in touch with James, see if he might fancy a cycle, and I just went off the idea. And I thought about getting in touch with Donnie, and I just went off the idea. Um, the, there's something about meeting up with people. Once I've met up with them, it's fine. 
once I'm in the presence of the person, it's fine. Yapping away, yapping away. I've always, I can all, I never stop fucking talking. But before that, I just think, uh, I, I don't get that burst up. Oh my god, that'd be a good idea. Oh, that would be good. I'm quite comfortable and content as I am. And I've not got this pang of, um, I don't know, this kind of, this tug towards another, another fucking human. That, that I want to go, I want, I want to go and meet them and see them and be with them in the flesh. In a way that is greater than, than just uh, like messaging online. I don't know what it is. Basically, you're not interested in others. There is a certain element of me being uninterested in everything. But I've not got, as I was saying earlier, I really like tweeting people, messaging people, coming on here and chatting with yous. Look, we went out in the 90s, that was me, I've exactly funked the void. I've done all that. I've taken the the socialising pills and things like that. I can't speak for Donnie, but I'm the same. Always glad I did that. I, I've got the feeling for you. Has anyone actually formally invited you to this meal? I, they fucking have. No, no, actually, well, well Kate was saying it wasn't a formal invite to the big meal, no. But I watched you talking about it on Toasty's podcast stream. And you are saying, oh, good, when Kate comes out, I will all meet up, that'll be good. And I was thinking, oh, Christ, have I got to go to this thing then? Or if I don't, will I be ignorant? Um, and and I, But then another thought came in, implied invitation, I, and then I thought, um, wait a minute. Will this even be illegal? And that's what I fucking said to Kate. I said to like, so Kate messages and says, I don't know if you saw, but I was saying and told, uh, I'm coming out of class. I said I saw. I said to her, I'm not meeting you by the way. You know, just let just let's let's get that clear. I'm not meeting you by the way. No, I, did, I didn't. But um, I says right. You know what I'm going to do. I said right. You know what I'm going to do, Kate. You know what I'm going to do? You know what I'm going to do? Let me just gear up to it. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to meet you. I'm going to meet you. And we will meet. We will, we will meet up. And you know, you know the word I used? And this is a really, I'm really, I'm actually regretting it now because I've, I'm regretting it. I said, I promise. I said, right, you know what? I'm going to promise you right now. I just don't fucking want to meet up with somebody because there's the fear that say after an hour, what if we've got nothing to fucking say? And it's pure fucking embarrassing, man. You can leave. Now we'll, we'll, we'll meet up, but I swear to fuck, Kate. I swear to fuck, and this is a promise, here's another promise, I promise you we'll meet up right, but here's an extra promise. I wonder what that is. I am Bareface, thanks for the 13 month resub. It's been a fucking scam. JD Giraffe, thanks for the sub. Had a dream you died last week, it was devastating. I'm going to look after myself for you, don't worry. Dan a lady's ankle, thanks for the 300 bits. Richard Herring on the new season of Taskmaster. Do you know what I saw that, right? Beowulf, Brandon, Rebel, Harry Stalker, Stalk, thanks for the subs. I was watching that, I was watching that Taskmaster, right, which I never really watch. 
is my hair dry, I think, so hold on. I think it's all dry now, right? Um, and there was a bit they were all laughing about something, and I thought, I think they're faking this laughing. I think they're fucking faking it. They were all laughing. They were pure laughing. And I was like, they were like... <laughs> Her, I can't remember her for um, the IT crowd. I can't, I can't remember her name. I've, I've, I've chatted with her. She was, she was nice, by the way. I was chatting with her in the um, makeup van, but she was, she was nice, by the way. Some people were a bit standoffish, but she was nice and she was chatty. And she was good to talk to. She was alright. See, some other people, they were a wee bit weird. But she was alright. Anyway. She looked like she was having to sort of fake laugh a bit. And I thought, oh God, I feel so fucking sorry for her right now, man. She's probably sitting there right now going... See what's happening right now, what everybody's talking about in the studio. It's Kit Catherine Parkinson, right? Oh, director, she's nice. She's. I can imagine her thinking, see, this is kind of funny, but it's not this fucking funny, come on. Anyway. So, I promise um, when you come here, Kate, definitely, definitely be up. And I did say, go for like a lunchtime sort of like a curry or something like that and uh, because honestly this is what I don't want I don't want to be in some fucking restaurant or something like that having dinner or something like that me and Kate right I meet up with Kate right and you know you go and it's like imagine a Friday fucking night in a restaurant if they're still open at the time and you've got some cunt sitting there some cunt sitting there and there and a you know, a group of people there and they've recognised me and they're all kind of looking at me and all that and I'm like trying to talk and Kate's talking away and you know what, no offence, Kate, you know what fucking Americans are like, they're loud as fuck, they're like the English, you know how this American English confidence that comes because you don't have an accent, you're that used to just being all loud. You know what it's like when one of them for doing there comes up and they're in a pub, yeah, 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 you know what we should do? They don't feel that they've got any identity that can be looked at. You know, they're, they're that used to being unseen, if you know what I mean. Uh, and they're fucking loud. Whereas if I was in fucking London, I wouldn't be, London, let's say, I wouldn't be loud because I can expect, I'd expect that I couldn't go that. You know, if, I, if I'm like that, I, well, I, do you mind that time we went up to, who was the guy that went, you know, I can imagine just people, in, that's a strange accent, is that even English, like that, so I can just imagine her being pure fucking loud and American, and I will like, oh, fucking keep it fucking done, and I can imagine her laughing, Kate, I can imagine you laughing, you know, you're, 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 la you're laughing, you know, you're, you're, you're laughing, infectious, infectious laughter playing games and all the rest of it, right, here, right, with that, but in a fucking, in a fucking restaurant, when I'm pure trying to keep my fucking head in my cap and all the rest of it, because I'm sick of people staring at me and taking sneaky pictures of me when I'm fucking eating, when I've got a curry half in my mouth, like that. And you're like, ah, ah, laughing your head off because I'm so fucking funny. Because that will happen. You know, I'm like, ah, oh, fucking, I'm shiting it right now, man. I'm shiting it right now. But I'll tell you, I'll tell you what I'm shiting myself most of. I'll tell you that this, I promise you we're going to meet up. But I promise you, see if your part of shite, I'm getting up and I'm walking. And you're paying for it. That's a promise. Same, it's not going to happen. That's not going to happen, okay. 
your cake. We're gonna have some fucking gossip, ain't we, man? No, I, 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 I just know. I just know. I just fucking know, man. Once we get fucking talking, man. There's gonna be some seriously. I, I'm honestly gonna be saying to you. I'm gonna be saying to you. See, I'm gonna be saying to you. See that phone there? Kate, take it off the table and stick it in your fucking pocket, your bag or something like that. Why? Just get the phone off the table and stick it in your bag. Do you think I'm recording this? If you put it in your bag, I don't need to think anything. Because what I'm about to say here must not be recorded. This is pure, pure gossip now. A right good fuck, speaking for experience, oh I to fucking right 10.30. A right good fucking goss. Aye, that would be good. Here, I'm into it now. I'm, look, I'm looking forward to it now. I always prefer meeting people one-to-one -one because the two years I've got a kind of secret fucking contract. We just go like, right, don't fucking say this, right? Don't you fucking say this and don't you tell any cunt. But do you know think... Hey, fuck it, the stuff that comes after you say that is amazing stuff, man. Fucking brilliant, man. Some of the best fucking stuff comes out after that, man. I love, I love that. Here's, here's, here's my favourite one. Here's my favourite one. Don't, right? I don't know if this is the order, right? I don't. Don't. You know, I'm just, just what I say. What, what do you think of, uh, Jenga? What's his name? Fucking love that man. Love that man. Fucking brilliant, isn't it? It's so much better when they agree. I what you've got to do is you've got to you've got to have a a back out plan, you've got to have an escape fucking plan. It's basically, it's like dead by daylight. Um, when you're doing a generator, you should know, this is what, this is what I've seen in, in YouTube, when you're doing a generator on dead by daylight, as a survivor that is, you should know where you're going to run if the killer comes. Like, have a quick look about. That uh, jungle gym, as they call it, the sort of bits like that, or kind of, or that sort of stuff with the, the windy and the fucking pallet, I'm going to go there. Or, I'm going to run to the fucking, uh, what do you call it? The shed, the, what do you call it? You don't just, you don't just go, I'm just going to run for the trees. You want to kind of have in your mind, I'm going straight for that pallet there, the killer shack, the shack. you got to know, if they say, um, I, th I, I, I like them. All oh, right. And I like them as well, I. I'm just wondering, you know, what did you think of that time that they said that thing? I think, I thought, what do you, what, what, do you know, I think that, do you never get the feeling that, no? I same here, same here. Yeah, would you make would you make a what's on them? What about her? Do you know I think she's a bit I don't know. That time she said Oh, I'm so glad you said that. Fucking yes. And then what follows is three fucking hours of dissecting somebody while they're fucking alive. How many times have I? How many times have I had these conversations? Oh, it's amazing. Lynn might come back for being out with one of her pals. Oh, we were talking about 
singy, what? Oh, we were just having such a fucking laugh. We were pissing ourselves, hey, what? We're talking about what you may call and then we just started talking about, oh, hey, what, what? How? Oh, did you know no? No, what? Oh, amazing. None of this shite. What do you, what do you think of Trump? Trump's bad, isn't he? Aye, he is bad. Aye, Boris Johnson's bad, isn't he? Aye, Boris Johnson's bad as well. Yeah, the world's fucked, isn't it? Aye. Aye, aye, it's fucked, aye. Would you, would you, would you, would you, what do you think of what's his name? What do you think of what's his name and what's her name? The, the pair of them? What do you think of them? I don't, I don't, I don't really, oh, thank fuck. I thought it was just me. That's what happened. Basically, that's how, that's how the first company that I worked at, uh, the first company that I had, when I left the web company that I was working for, and then we started up our own one. Um, how we ended up leaving. There was a guy that that worked here, uh, one of our fellow co-directors, we didn't like. It didn't go on me. Um, but it was just me and this one other guy. That had a, we just didn't like certain things one night I wasn't really I wasn't that sure if it was just just with me and then one night I went here what do you think of this incident I didn't like that right I thought it was right so you agree you think oh I and then one night one night one day there was the other director it was me and one, and then it was the other director who we weren't really sure about his loyalties fucking line. It wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't really about like who are you loyal to. We weren't really sure what to do. How do you go? What, what do you do when you're in a company? You've got your own company, and there's like four of you that that run it and own it, and you just don't get on with one of the guys. What, what do you do? That's years ago. It's like twenty fucking years ago. What do you do? Do you, do you oust the person? Do you leave? Do you, do you try and get them to change their ways? Is it you? Have you got a fucking problem? Have you got it on your head? And and you, you're just you're just trying to find out is it just me? Am I going to go like that? What do you think of him? What do we think of him? What do we think of you? You know, you don't, you don't know how it's going to go. So two of us were in agreement at one point, but there was the third, there was the third director that I wasn't sure about because I thought, you know, this could get really fucking ugly. This could get all kind of... It wasn't like succession or anything like that. It wasn't like a big fucking, pure big deal. Um, But it was when I went down to Manchester with this, this pitch for this job that we ended up not getting anyway and I went down and it, with this, the third director because there was four years it was just me and him and after it while we were in Manchester waiting with about a couple of hours until we had to go to the airport or something like that to get to fly back up um, we went to some pub and I always remember he got a bottle of Bex or something and I got a bottle of wine and I drank the fucking lot of it. Um, and we're having, a, we're having a drink. And I said, what do you think of um, the guy that we didn't go on with? I don't, don't know. What do you, it's just, do you know a thing like that time this happened and that happened? Do you know, get the feeling of would you reckon? Um, and he was in agreement. And I was like, thank fuck. And it was funny, see when we got on that flight back up, I tried to get another drink on the flight and I got refused because I was drunk. I fucking love getting steam in me. 
But it wasn't, see that though, it, it was partly like, you could say like gossip and all that, what do you think this, what do you think that, but there was that actual fucking business side of it. The way things are going at the time, we're just like, can he fucking go on like this? Can he go on like this? Don't want to work here anymore. In my own fucking company. Don't want to be here anymore. Or his love and local boy thinks he's subs and bits. Back to business, where's the truck going? Eh, we're going to Idaho. Rigo's rebel thinks for the sub. What do you think of prime subs? I'm going to give you a break of the prime sub part of the night. Um, Kate says, is there any, anything else I need to put on my list that you'd not like me to do while in public? Um, no, that's, I just like to try and keep my head down a bit. Like, like see, uh, I had a really good pr uh, s yesterday. It was a very good day. Was it yesterday? Aye, it was yesterday. Was it? Uh, Lynn, I'll tell you what happened. Here's here's what happened. So, half, half my nut. Rayvax Phoenix, thanks for the subs. Ten the Bristic, all these gaming, Big Steve, I'm Bareface, thanks for the subs. The reason why Lynn took us out and I sort of took us in a sort of birthday celebration of Saturdays because come Tuesday she's going to be in work for most of the day so it's all you know had it at the weekend um, it started with Lynn said on a Friday night I uh, suggest you don't stream because um, I'm going to start early but alright went up the tune went to this place called Single End which means single end which I think is like a like it, it's taken for the, the name of like I don't know tenements or any sort of building where it's got like kind of gable end as in like the kind of end of the I don't know there's one up the art school next to the art school but there's another one at uh, the Italian centre I think went in there um, nice food, fancy, but we, we came out it and said, I thought that was good, but I actually prefer just something dead simple, and that was a bit kind of fancy, it wasn't fancy as in stuffy, but you know like, they didn't just have like, let's say, scrambled eggs and toast or poached eggs and toast or something as simple as say a simple fancy thing like say eggs benedict if you know what I mean had lots of things on it and all kind of done well and all the rest of it um, that, that was nice we went there then we left there Um. she said Right, now we're going into phase two of the celebrations, which is we're going back up the road to rest for an hour, and then we're going back out, went back up, played some Overwatch, and then we went back out, and it was the pictures. Went to see Tenet, didn't know what was going on, but it was good. I went to the Odeon Lux, hardly any cunning. Odin Lux, and it, it was kind of sad in a way because I remembered it for the 20th October of my birthday. I had planned to take you there, but unfortunately, um, I changed it to the uh, to Sydney World, and in Sydney World, will not be open. They've, they've shut the, they've pulled in the shutters, so unfortunately, I've lost all the money to them and to everybody else and I have got debt collectors on your case they'll probably be uh, at your door on the lead up to Christmas because they know you'll be, you'll be wanting to spend your money on Christmas presents so that's when they'll be coming for the money before you spend it all uh, 
and if you don't pay it, if you think 2020 was fucking bad, they'll make 2021 look. Like, make. They'll make 2020 look like fucking Disney World. Damn. Stay Kagla, thanks for the 300 bits. Pastor John Michael, thanks for the sub. Bottle of Bucky for Kate. Sightseer Elf, thanks for the bits. I need to get asleep before I make a sandwich. What? I saw. Um, and then and then the night ended. Where Lynn ordering in a curry, Fato's favourite Indian restaurant, and it was just wonderful. That was it. Um, what did you have? Butter chicken and lamb madras. Hold on, let me check the phone. I just want to see if Lynn's like that. Fucking sharp. Hold on. I can hear every fucking... No, it's like a... It's like a kind of tapas sort of thing. It's like small dishes. It's not like a full... You can get it as a main, but it's kind of like... These wee ones, you know, you have, a, you have a bit of this and a bit of that. Calcereo, thanks for the sub. So in terms of meeting up, because I know everybody's like... Thinking, oh, we want to meet Lemmy. I wonder if it will happen this time. I said, Yippee, yippee, yippee. I said to, I said to, oh fuck, look at this. I said to Kate, I don't think. Can I come, says Hoggle. You see, that's your problem right away. Who gets to come who doesn't? Do you know what I mean? Hoggle. You know who the fuck's that? Oh, who, sorry, who are you? Hoggle, my three month subscriber. Yeah? What a lovely community. It's an amazing community. You know, it'll be, it'll be like fucking Spraggy, thank you very much for the raid and the host, thank you very much, mate. It'll be like fucking a labyrinth. Hogwart. You know, he keeps getting the name wrong. It'll be like that. I'll be like that every two seconds. Hovel. It's Hoggle. Here. Take this. You know that bit with the, the crystals? More links, thanks for the sub. So, what I'm saying is this. Pink Hexkin, thank you very much for the 913 sub. Just, just meet the community of them. Right, I, I I would like to now. The downside is this. First of all, I don't think we fucking can. Nightmare. That's right. I don't think we can. I don't think we can meet up. We can't. Right now you can, and you would certainly fucking can he coming up for Christmas. That's when cunts will be fucking, like, even more vulnerable. With the cold weather, that's when everybody's fucking immune systems will be fucked with the cold. You think they're going to fucking loosen up come Christmas? They're going to be fucking... It's going to be like... Like, like fucking martial law. Is that what you call it? No martial law. What is it? Aye. You know, you know it's getting... You know it's sort of picking up 
as it's getting worse. I'm not going to get to the time of year when people actually, more people day die of things like, I don't know, day day? The flu and things like that, just due to the, the cold weather. Lowering your immune system and in the diseases get, as in, you know, everybody gets the cold and all these sorts of things. Why would they then go like that? Aye, but see this, see the coronavirus. Come on, it's Christmas. Come on now. It's generally Christmas time. Let's no gear fuck. Every cunt will be fucking dead come February. Anyway. I mean, we could go all go for one big walkabout. Um, and if we have to, if it has to be groups of six or less, we'll just all say, we're no way them. We're no way them. They just happen to be there. They just happen to be there. I'm going to self-isolate when Kate does to reduce the bubble a bit. We're all going to get cancelled. And we're going to get cancelled. We're going to be... There's going to be streams of us overthinking it. That's right, porcelain. Porcelain, you know what I'm doing? I'm thinking. Will we all be able to meet up and run about like the end of December? Is that likely? Is it likely that we will be able to do that fucking thing that is sort of getting planned right now? How is that overthinking it? You daft bastard. You, is that way of thinking that, that has led to us being in this fucking state? Don't overthink it. I know, but it's just that... It, just calm down, man. Don't think any thoughts. No, but in all seriousness, how the fuck are we going to meet up? Think about it. Imagine a flat. You know, like a fucking a rented flat or a hotel room or whatever. Be like, even just four. Like, wait a minute, so you got one for that household, one for that household, one for that household. Illegal and fucking recorded on a stream or with pictures or videos. Small groups will hopefully be able to meet. What we'll do is we'll work out a spreadsheet. But we'll do it on a spreadsheet. We'll go like that, right. So this person here, how many times right? Who is it you want to meet with? This person, this person, this person. Who's your A list? It will definitely Lemmy, definitely want to meet Lemmy. Um them and them, them. And who's your sort of B? You'd like to meet them, but you're not too bothered. Um Riot bananas, um, and uh, uh, right, and who, who are you happy to just like? Is anybody you'd actually like to avoid? You'd actually like to avoid, like, like if it just happened to be that you're actually put into a group with them, you you would not have a good time. Actually, stick right bananas in that in that group. Oh, I can't remember. Hey, stick Hoggle in there as well. Stick Hoggle in there. Uh, do you know what, Hoggle? You're fast becoming A list, by the way. You're fast becoming A list. You're like, you know, that botched renovation of that, that painting of Jesus or whatever the fuck it is 
that actually now gets more visitors than it ever did because it's all like botched. That's you now. That's you. People are all like, I want to fucking meet this hoggle, man. I want to get a picture with this hoggle. You're the f you're the streams. You're like a kind of. I was going to say the ocean spray guy, but no, that's a different that's a different sort of thing. But it will be ocean spray levels of po popularity or ocean spray guy. It's going to break the fucking internet. Why does everybody want a picture with this person Hoggle? It just it started on on Scottish streamer Lemmy's Twitch channel. Just this person became famous for being famous. Famous for being famous. It's a real feel good story. Ever since uh, uh, John Lewis and M&S and Waitrose etc decided to actually scrap their Christmas ads this year. So this is a real feel good one. Can I say something for the sub? How the fuck did I fall down this rabbit hole? Glasgow's finest, thank you very much. G-Funk, Kiko Flames, thanks for the subs and bits. Greg, have a good week at work ahead, right? You deserve it. Pat and Keen, Kieran, thanks for turning bits. The flu season, season is bad this year. Is it? Mortier, thanks for the sub. Davy Boy, thanks for the sub. No, listen, I would like, I would like to... I would like to meet everybody. I'm, I'm, I'm really, I'm too antisocial. Just want to. I, ju I just looked at the chat. There, Hoggle's like, calm down, guys. Ken Hoggle, man, pushing them all back, man. Hoggle pushing them all back, like, all right, calm down, calm down, calm yourselves there. Be responsible, please. Everybody will drive to Los Angeles, California. Yeah. Calm down. This is this this meetup is going to be shite without Hoggle now. Who is this Hoggle? Pink hair skin. It just happened. It's just one of these things that that's happened. That's who Hoggle is. Hoggle's an event person. Hoggle mania, aye. Hoggle's more an event than an actual person. I went from a complete no one to just... Everyone went a bit of me. I didn't really know how to handle it. And obviously, once it was offered heroin, heroin for the first time, as a way to calm my nerves, I just, I just, I just went for it. Next six months, what a plan! I can't remember nothing. Can't remember nothing. Probably a blessing when you think about it. We should hoggle footage. I can't remember it. I can't remember it. Can't remember none of it. I'm from, I'm from Lambeth. I'm from Lambeth. For some reason, for some reason, and I'm getting that wrong. For some reason, for some reason, for some reason, that's not how you say, that's not like the right tune. For some reason, for some reason, it doesn't go, for some reason, doesn't it do that, some reason, for some reason, for some reason, what's it there? I thought, how does it say it exactly? 
Uh, what's that guy called again? Brex uh, James O'Brien Tears. Bill's in Exmouth. Bill, what would you like to say? Actually, James, are you an old-fashioned git, really, I suppose? Oh, I, I, For some I, reason. We've spoken you know, before. I, so, yeah, we've spoken before. Yeah. We've spoken before. And, uh, do you know we've spoken uh, before. I, yeah, we've spoken before. Yeah. You know, and... Uh, do you know what? You are right. I was wrong. I, you, don't, for, some so for some reason... 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 For right, I was wrong. I, you, don't, for some reason... So for some reason... For some reason. For some reason. For some reason. For some reason. Wrong. Wrong. Are you going to? For some reason. For some reason. For some reason. For some reason. I thought we were better off. And clearly, I was wrong. Well, don't beat yourself up, though, mate. Listen to all the people that told you we would be. I was wrong. I am so sorry. Oh, Bill, mate. Come on. What have I done to my country? That was fuck all, mate. I think that was fucking bad. I think that was bad, mate. That was just the start. That was just the entree. Is that what they call it? Is that an aperitif? Hey. Oh, no, sorry. Oh, sorry, sorry. For some reason, for some reason, for some reason, go on, I thought we were better off. But I was wrong, I was wrong, I was so wrong. God forgive me. Sage preservers. For some reason, for some reason, for some reason, go on, I thought we were better off. Skepsy Games, Speckle Doves, and DC, Chaz Black, thanks for the subs. What have I done my country? Oh, Bill, 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 Bill. For some reason, for some reason, for some reason, go on. I thought we were better off. But I was wrong. I was wrong. What have I done in my country? Oh, Bill, Bill. Fucking classic. What you reckon? I asked just before. Fake. Get the remix on. Get the tune on. Not right then. Let me Brexit. Who remembers Brexit? Here's an ad on my video. Bill's an Xmas. Bill, what would you like to say? James, are you an apology? I was wrong. Come on. I was wrong. I was wrong. I was wrong. And I think you're absolutely right. I think that... Um... Sorry, I'm laughing at myself. Do you know what? And you are right. I was wrong. Are you... uh, for, some so for some reason, for some reason, for some reason, go on, go on. I thought... We were better off. And clearly, I was wrong. Well, don't beat yourself up, up, Bill, mate. Listen to all the people that told you we would be. I've, I've spent the whole morning telling them they've been whispering in your ear. Not well, just for two and a half years, for 30 years. I was wrong. I am so sorry. Oh, Bill, mate, come on. <laughs> what have I done to my country? Bill, Bill. What have I done to my country? Bill, Bill. What have I done to my country? Bill, Bill. What have I done to my country? Bill, Bill. <laughs> So sorry, Bill. Bill. 
Got white guns in my country. Bill, Bill. Got white guns in my country. Bill, Bill. Got white guns in my country. Bill, Bill. So sorry. Bill, Bill. Got white guns in my country. Bill, Bill. Got white guns in my country. Bill, Bill. Got white guns in my country. Bill, Bill. So sorry. Bill, Bill. Got white guns in my country. Bill, Bill. Got white guns in my country. Bill, Bill. Got white guns in my country. Bill, Bill. So sorry. Bill, Bill. Got white guns in my country. Bill, Bill. Got white guns in my country. Bill, Bill. Got white guns in my country. Bill, Bill. So sorry. Bill, Bill. Got white guns in my country. Bill, Bill. Got white guns in my country. Bill, Bill. Got white guns in my country. Bill, Bill. So sorry. Bill, Bill. Got white guns in my country. Bill, Bill. Got white guns in my country. Bill, Bill. Got white guns in my country. Bill, Bill. So sorry. Bill, Bill. Got white guns in my country. Bill, Bill. Got white guns in my country. Bill, Bill. Got white guns in my country. Bill, Bill. So sorry. Bill, Bill. Got white guns in my country. Bill, Bill. Got white guns in my country. Bill, Bill. Got white guns in my country. Bill, Bill. So sorry. Bill, Bill. Got white guns in my country. 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 Bill, Bill. As the Brexit bus trundles o'er the, trundles o'er the horizon, trundles on, the Brexit bus trundles on, over the horizon. That song, that didn't fade, that didn't repeat to fade there, that's still happening. It just went away. Always ashes, Slayer 7 thinks the subs. Thank you for it, too strong and stable years, thank you very much mate. Twiggy thinks the 15 quid. Thank you very much. 1988, thanks for the sub there. Uh, the 300-bit, sorry. Jake DeMarco, thanks for the subs. 12 months by 12 months badge on it. Honorally doubled to 24 for the meetup, but I guess it's not happening anymore. Um, Oh, the, oh, you mean the, the birthday one? No, that got cancelled because of Cineworld. I hope you've not lost your money with them. That isn't my concern anymore. I did hand it all over to the debt collection agency, as I said. So, please don't get in touch with me saying I've got these bastards taking my fucking tail out of my living room, my Wayne's greeting, or that part. Um, it's nothing to do with me. It's not a day with me anyway. I don't need fuel, I need a sleep. Um, I so, in terms of meeting up, like I don't fucking know, man. Would it be good? Would it be good? Would it be good? You were excited about it 30 minutes ago. No. Um, it's not about meeting up, meeting up with Kate. Have a chit chat and a gossip. Hoggle says I don't fancy it anymore. Oh, good, 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 good. No, I mean, that's a shame. That's a shame. Sorry you feel that way. 1030 says, I'm not going if Hoggle's not going. Excellent, we've got somebody else pulling it. That's it, whole thing cancelled Hoggle. Thank you very much for that, by the way. You, you'll never quite know. You'll never quite know just how much you've helped me. Thank you very much. You've sent a torpedo right into it. It's fucking right into it. I was to say right into its helm, but I don't know. No, the helm of the ship is where the, where the captain is, isn't it? Hilarious consequences thanks to 300 bits. Any way of watching your recent telly stuff in the USA? Maybe there is, but I can't say. That'd be illegal. Try to get me banned. Uh, 
Um, I, I think I think of things like this, right? So, wouldn't it be good to meet up, let's say, like five years, six years? I don't know, like that small group before, there's... I'm telling you right fucking now. Uh, see, can I just say, can I just say this? This is straight for the heart, like now. I'm gonna try and not exaggerate here, right? I sometimes exaggerate just for a bit, bit of a laugh, right? About no liking people, no wanting me up with people, or... Oh, I don't like anybody me, I don't get on with anybody me, I don't want to meet anybody me. What? Let me just get to the truth here. See a lot of this, see that. See all the streamers that are, you know, host or hosted or the people come on here that I'm familiar with and I chat to and all that. I like them all. I like them all. I've watched them and I like them. I don't, I don't even know, I only know a fraction of their lives and who they are. But I like them. I like them. Um, I like people. Uh, somebody there says synthetic friendship. This feels real. No real friendships like the the big ones we were like, you know, I, I wouldn't actually be able to get in touch with any of them and go, could you really, really help me? Can you can you help me through this dark patch in my my So to say I was ready to say something rude there for a laugh. Dark pan, patch that I've pushed my damp patch that I've pushed myself. Um it's not that rude actually, it's just sort of childish sort of Quite funny you'd say that in front of toddlers. It's not bad at all. Um, can you really help me through this dark time that I'm in right now? Can 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 you talk me through it for a period of months? I don't know. I don't know, know them that well. And I wouldn't actually say that anyway. Just they missed that. Um, but... Through the tweets and the streams and just coming on here, I like them. Simple as that. They'll they'll want to they'll want to meet them. They want to meet them. No, really. But let me be clear. And and let let me be clear, clear. First of all, did he want to meet me? I don't know. Right. Um. I'm not saying I'm not saying there's a, there's a group of people who all want to meet me, and I'm like no, you do not get that. They could very well a number of them could very well be just like me, right? That personality type. They like them, yes. They really want to meet them in the flesh. Is it important to me? No. Are there other people that are wanting me up? Just for comparison's sake, just for a bit of kind of, like, what? Do you normally want to meet up with people though? No. Nikon. Nikon. Hey, what's that? Wait a minute. What's that there? What's that on the map that's got a cog? Hold on. Hold on. What's that fucking... What's that? What are you? What the fuck are you? 
What's this? A side quest? No, no, see, see... It doesn't feel like a progression. Do you know what I mean? It doesn't feel like, to me, just mad, the type of person I'm... What are you? Here. That's a... What's that? Is that a fucking camera? What is this? What? Activate the viewpoint, right? The town of McCall? What is this? This is new. This is new. This is like one of the things. If you if you look at like say a new build flat that hasn't been built yet, or like a kind of other upgrade in some sort of commercial area. They've got just like one or two people dotted about. No, no too many. Nice wee trees and all that. Well maintained. Did they have a money lender there? Thanks for that. Aye. So, um, hey, hey funnies and red panda and things for the subs. Should I have a burger or cheeky macaroni for dinner for di right now? Uh, have a burger. No, no, no. Um, cheesy macaroni. Plastic orange, thanks for the four quid. Get ourselves some sweeties, thank you very much. Had some tonight. Chelsea, am I tough enough? Are you tough enough? Hell yes, you're tough enough. Dan Sharps and Ginza thinks they're subs and bits. Here's the money you asked for. Please give my kids back. I told you not to, I told you not to say anything about it, mate. I warned you. I warned you. So let, let me just stop talking about this. I don't mean right now. I mean, we'll pro I'll probably have another fucking hour of talking about it. But, as I was saying earlier, James, who I've actually met in real life, Donnie, who I meet up with in real life, that I used to work with, my pal, for school, who I meet up with in real life, I meet up with him almost, it feels like, once a fucking year. Especially... I mean, like... Donny... And also, um... Uh... The lassie that I know for school. I say lassie, she's fucking same age as me. Um, I fuck, I've told them fucking everything. Do we talk about anything? Um, yet, yeah, I'm not in any big fucking hurry to go and need to meet up with them, and it's dead important for my fucking my well-being and I want to see how they are and, and it's not really about me it's not really about what they I want like they keep, keep in mind you can have a fucking inferiority way here if you want but low self-esteem if you want but they would occasionally like to meet you believe it or no they might like you hence them wanting to fucking meet you so it's not about what you want. And they want to talk about a few things. Have you thought about that? Have you thought about the possibility that these people who want to meet you want to meet you because they like you? And like chatting with you? Um.
Anyway, what I'm saying is this. Have their limited eye. Everybody deserves their limited. I don't like you. Um, Jungle Jim thinks they sub. I so just think to myself, see, th there, is n there is nobody that I know via this, right? Who I like, I like. I like uh, reading them in the chat. I like watching their streams. I like any other conversations we've had and all the rest of it anywhere else where I go, right, what I would really like, what would be especially good, would be to meet them in person. There are no humans that exist that I feel that way towards. No humans exist. When I think, what I would really like is to meet them in person. It's just no the way I fucking am. I like this. I like this. Bastard. You know, and, and see, and, and what I especially like is people... No, 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 no. No, Kate, with me, no. Um... One of the reasons we're, we're meeting up, uh, Kate, is that we actually have had private fucking chats. Private chats about important matters and also trivial gossipy matters. So I'm actually able to, to talk to you about certain things that I wouldn't be talking to maybe some other people about. So, so there's that. But seeing a group of people... I don't know. Obviously, I don't want to pure, 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 pure overthink it. I bet I know, but why am I meeting up? The best thing to do is just fucking leave the fucking house at the night that people say that they're going to a certain place or doing a certain thing and meet up with them for an hour. For a fucking hour. Two hours. That's it. Leave when you get bored. Make up some excuse. If everybody's part of shit or nobody's fucking spilling their fucking guts. Nobody's gone like that. Like, you know, if everybody's, if it's, if it's no fucking coming right out. You see everybody, one thing you've got to know about me is, I'm from Glasgow. No, I don't. See here in Glasgow. <laughs> You can strike up a conversation with a complete stranger at a, 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 a bus stop and see by the time the bus comes, you've made a good friend for life. We're a very open people. There's no airs or graces, you know. Billy Conley. When I was a young man, I used to be a ship builder, you know. Hell, Whisker sinks to three quid. Who would you rather meet up with in person? Dommy Cummings or Jezza Corbin? Eh, uh, Jezza Corbin. I've not got any particular interest in Jeremy Corbin. Uh, honestly, I can tell you right now. If I was in England, would I have voted for Jeremy Corbin? Yes. Um. But see, in the years that he was a Labour leader, I swear to fuck, see during that whole period there, and it's the same with this new cunt. What's his name? What's his fucking name? Starmer. Is it Keith Starmer? I can't even fucking remember. Keir. Um, I just know that Keir Starmer said something today with Scottish independence and all that fucking fuck. Off, it's not until fucking day with you. Um, um, honestly, in the time, would, would I vote not to get all political, right? 
why why did I even start talking about this? I don't want to start talking about it. Well done, Hale Whiskers. You nearly got me talking about politics. Everybody, everybody, you turn, you turn. No politics, please. Let's stop talking about politics in five, four, three, two, one, because it is simply not how we're going to be spending the remainder of this Sunday stroke Monday morning. We're not doing it, troops. We're chilling out, right? We're fucking chilling out. Hell whiskers, thanks to three quid. Also, can you please publicly come out against the new uh, Jimmy Savile drama that the BBC is making? <laughs> is that Jimmy Savile part there? Hell, Hell whiskers, not the first time. Eh? Just dipping your toe in with the Jimmy Savile part. Maybe take it a step further. Souls and thanks for the, the three quid. Man, I wish your mods would calm down to learn and have some fun. I don't ban me. Souls. The mods act on my request. The mods are more lenient than me. The mods unban when I don't want to unban. Didn't they ban? Just saying. I'll tell you right fucking now. See if I got rid of the mods and it was just me modding it. Half of you cunts would have been banned about fucking two years ago. And I mean that. It's these mods... That come between you and me and believe me you don't want to see me approach you in the chat because if you do by then it's too late I'm a real tough guy Um. I think if there's a wee group meet up, I might do it. But one thing I don't like is this, everybody. I've got myself into a way of life right now. I've got absolutely no obligations. No responsibilities. Professionally, that is. Or socially. I've got nowhere to be, nothing to do, other than come onto this fucking stream and have a good time. See, meeting up with people, it's a wee bit of a pain in the ass for me. And it, it, at times it's not, it's not very entertaining. I'm a self-centred, slightly egocentric person that's prone to boredom and motor mouthing. Unless somebody's saying something dead interesting, shocking, thought provoking or anything like that, I can or or something like that, I kinda of drift off. I sometimes start talking about my thoughts when I don't when I think that my thoughts are more important or no more important but more interesting to me in what they're saying. I lose my manners. Um I don't want to be rude. I don't want to meet up with people and be rude. I'm alright with being rude here because you can take it in the context of me being a bit of a jokey sort of dickhead fanny with the understanding that I maybe know as much a cunt as I come across as being. Sometimes it's hard to tell but you probably get the feeling that if I'm, if I'm like being loud and angry at somebody on here I don't really, f I don't fucking mean it. I don't actually want any, I don't want to be in the company of say five, six people and they're talking about something, I never notice any, I see, see if it's just me and you, 1030, if it's just me and you, or you never notice any of the stuff about me being alright, right? see if it's just me and you, we can fucking chat, right? about the same thing. Soon you get about six people. Oh, listen, that'll be fucking fine. Maybe, maybe I, I probably will, I probably will meet up. I probably will.
I will maybe you're not invited. I'm afraid Pink Hexkin of all people invited me. Pink Hexkin invited me of all people in Pink Hexkin's sub message. So that's official now. My dad said she hates you. Gonna by the way gonna thank your dad for for grassing. Hex betrayed us. Your night just got fucking hex ruined. Rob. Thanks for the sub. You're welcome. Oh, listen. Listen. I probably will come out. Now that I've said all that. Now that I've said all that. See if I start talking about myself too much. People can point it out. People can say you're doing that thing where you're just you're just talking about yourself, and you don't you, you you can see that this person's talking about something dead serious and that, that really matters to them, and you just want to talk about fucking dead by daylight perks. Right, Banana says, I'm not going to want to talk to you in case your eyes glaze over. They will not I'm dead good at acting. I think, I think I'm dead good at pretending to be interested. It's just that it's dead tiring for me though. I have to sort of leave. Can I make, can I give my headache? Plus, plus, I have got a one thing I'm really worried about is I'm worried for news because I did come across as on the stream um, quite, I don't know, a bit daft and all that, but a bit of fucking dope, a bit of dafty, a bit kind of unassuming. A wee bit rude and a jokey arrogant and all the rest of it. But and when I'm trying to get a Discord set up and oh and playing games, I'm so stupid and forgetful. But I think if you actually I'm there in your presence I think you'll you'll probably your th your horns will probably be like that and it'll be kinda of embarrassing. I've seen it happen so many times. Porcelain, what Porcelain said there is, is spot on. He's he's actually a genius. I think it will hit you. I think it will hit you pretty hard. You go like that. Actually, you'll think to yourself, look, 1030 saying it, I've seen folk quiver in front of him. It's serial cunt thinks he's Jesus. Cunt think, cunts think he's Jesus. That's fucking true. Kate, Kate's like, seriously. Tell her. Tell her, James. Tell her, James. Aye, Jen, up, there you go. And I honestly don't think you're prepared for it. Like, see, see for like certain live shows or something that I've done in the past. And it's like two weeks to go. How how do you feel? You normally get a wee bit nervous before this, like you know the first live show for quite a while or something. I good. Looking forward to it. I good. One week to go. Good. Three days to go. I good. The night before. Are you all right? You don't really talk much. Just thinking about the morrow. Are you nervous? No, no. Well, I. A bit. Really? I had, uh, I'm just hoping it goes well, that's all. We'll go, we'll, 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 we'll be good. It'll be good. I'll we'll be fine tomorrow. Just the energy. Nervous energy. Then that day. Fuck me, man. I really don't want to do this. 
I don't, I feel fucking ill. I feel ill. Why did I get into this line of work? I don't want to do it. I've not felt that way for ages though. My point is, I think I think some of you will feel that way. Um, when you're ready to meet me. I remember when me and Lynn went to Disney World and there was a big shoot, a big slide and you had to go up all these stairs. Right, it was it was high, but it wasn't like it's fucking Disney World as Wayne's gone, didn't it? But I was like, oh I want to go in that. And you go kinda of up the stairs and you're waiting, there's big queue, up, 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 big queue, big queue, feeling alright. And then see as I got see when I got to the top and I can see it, I actually started to feel fucking nervous. Cause I was like I can't back out now. I don't want to, but the feeling that I can't, it's kind of making me a bit nervous and I'm just kind of, I feel like I'm about to get fucking, like guillotined or something. I feel like, right, step up, like, it's actually my time. This is it. In a minute, this person's going to look at me and go, right, and you go, And I think that's going to that's going to be the feeling for some uh, some of you. You are going to be, I think some you are going to be like that. I think. Oh, where's a, uh, where's thingy? It's about to happen. That's right, we man, Jordy. I think some you are going to get a feeling of. I think some you are going to pull out. Like oh, where's where did where did thingy go? Um, what's that? You heard me. Just gobbed. Just gobbed. Um, where did thingy go? Let's see. Pull a name out. Half a tap my head. Let's say a lost fella there, right? So I thought you said Lost Fella was coming. Um Lost Fella was coming. Lost Fella did come. Sorry. Um Lost Fella went him. Oh. How come? What just there? About 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 ten minutes ago. How everything alright? Um Right, I don't want you saying anything about this, right? Because I know how you like to have a laugh at them all. Why is it? Why, where's your mic? Where's your mic? No, no, no. What is it? What is it? Is it something I've done? No, no, no. Lost Fell's just really, really nervous about meeting you. And, um, and just, and just left. Really? Listen, I'll, 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 I'll tweet him, I'll tweet him. No, no, just... Really, really nervous. How nervous? Really nervous. Oh, why nervous about meeting me? You don't know this, Lemmy, right? Because, and credit to you, you know, being humble and approachable, but you're actually a really intimidating guy. Oh, I don't mean to be intimidating. I'm not, I don't mean it in your cheek or the anger and all that. It's just a joke. No, 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 no. Just your intelligence and your creativity and just your general... You're, you know, your your whole thing. Come on, you're not daft. You're you. You're you. Me, but I'm just. I'm just like a kind of balding, grey-haired, like da sort of guy. Fucking a wee sketch show. Scorn. I'm. I'm. I'm nothing. Me. <laughs> You're just, just so much more than that. You're so much more than that. Really? How? Well, anyway, he's really nervous. No, no, tell me what you're going to say there. What, tell me what's, what's, what's so good about me? Just really special guy. Mm hmm. What else? 
make a right good night of it. Is that what I might do? In fact, I think I will meet up. I'm going to meet up with everybody. And I'm going to say, right, let's just get this out the way, right, so we can all just sort of get on with each other. What do you like about me? What's like your favourite thing about me? And and let's just name five things each max, right? Maximum five things. Maximum five things, right? Just just so we know at it all night. And here you go. I'm just gonna hold on. I'm gonna set it. Gonna set the tripod up with my my phone. So if you just look at the camera, there's a lens there, right? If you just if you just look at it right there. Thank you. Okay, that's as I set up. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, can you send in on your way out? Can you send James in? Thank you. That was great, James. Thank you very much. Hey, right, James, can you just set, send in weed on your way out there? Thank you. Christian and MB, Kieran thinks the subs. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Goth and Slabber Chops, Rob. Thanks thanks again for the subs. <laughs> hi. Hi, Weege. I don't know. I didn't manage to catch you at the start there when everybody turned up, but I'm assuming you've been chatting out there in the hallway. Um, just in case... It's not been explained properly. Basically, we're just I'm just limiting what it is that each of you, your, your favourite things about me, I'm just limiting it to, to five. Shouldn't take any longer than half an hour. You okay with that? Is five okay? You can go. You can go. Go in more than that if you want, but as long as it's under half an hour, we can go in an hour if you need to. Chris, I bet how we doing for time? Right. I see. How long have we? How long? How long have we hired this building for? Till ten. Okay, no. Right. How many hours has that been? Seven. Seven? Fuck me, man. Gotta get us a drink of water. There's a, there's a bottle of water under your, your seat. Oh, fuck, so there is, aye. Fucking hell, man. His throat is killing me. It's been... Kind of tiring, doing nothing, into it? Why is your, sorry, I haven't been in, why is your throat kind of dry if it's them that's to be doing the talking? Because, oh, Chris, I bet they're so, I'm having to talk, I'm having to talk them down. They're so nervous when they come in. I'm having to just like, you know, do a lot of small talk just to, just to get it into their mind. Just a normal guy, I'm an ordinary person, just normal guy I'm having to talk about things like oh I did this shite the other day oh it was pure big and pure stinking you know I'm having to say these things just so they go just so they see me as human because if I don't they see me as a god so I've got I've got to just go like that. oh do you ever do one of these farts that's pure like that oh you're here I did this big fucking shite the other day and it was like this just so they go like that. oh He's actually just like me. A god. He'll be sitting on a throne, I. I don't. I think the throne was a bad idea. The throne was meant to be ironic, but they're not getting it. I mean, maybe he's actually they've 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 come in. And they've not actually said a word about it. Are you going to even show off for this thing? I've been wearing this tart for about five fucking days, man. 
fucking nutcase. The Fable. There's only one thing I like now I'm getting called uh, clever or a genius and that's getting called a nutcase. You play a... You keep that partner up, by the way. You keep that partner up, man. You play your cards right and... Uh, somebody'll be getting the wee... Uh, getting the wee... Uh, catering old hotel room, eh? <laughs> The stuff we we get up to, man. Stuff we'll get up to be the stuff our fables, man. <laughs> the stuff we'll get up to be the stuff our fables, man. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Just a joke. I mean, fables as in it have only happened. Do you know what a fable is? Ross play, plays games, thanks to three quid. Here you, you cunt. Did you know my uncle and granddad? Joe Welsh? Aye. Aye. Joe fucking Welsh, do fucking right. Joe Welsh, fantastic keyboard player. Say hello to him for us. <laughs> Danny Dobber says, All right, let me just came on as you were getting compared to Jesus Christ, our Lord and Saviour. Made me smile because I'd love to see you dragging across up Argyle Street and getting the shite whipped out of you by all the VIPs. That would be good, wouldn't it? That would be good. I'd love to get crucified. Davy Boy thinks it's on a bits. Me and my mate were in the queue for the signing and the fault after the book show in Dublin. My mate was absolutely shitting himself as I got close to the top of the queue. I was also a bit nervous, but mate completely froze. No words. Nothing. Me and you had some sort of brief part before the thought of a great night. It happens. It happens. What's a VIP? What's, what's VIP worthy? One on one in the fucking morning. Everybody's like that. VIP, VIP. That no, no, everybody. I'm wiping all the VIPs. Remember, the more see for the more, all the VIPs are getting wiped, all except the last person to be VIP'd in season one. Let's call it. And also that person who's got who's going to be sticking on who's staying on the VIPs uh, because he gambled his VIP um, potential. They get to enjoy it for a week. I fuck it, right? What about people like Satalo Disco says Kate? What about him? Hell Whisker sinks to three quid. Part of like that, and they'll be making a BBC series about you soon enough. <laughs> night night, hell whiskers. Are you away to bed? Sheila says, Satalo Disco VIP for life, to be honest. Satalo Disco. I got, I got reminded of how much changing a fucking inner tube is a pain in a fucking arse because I had to do it out in, out in the back of my house in the comfort of my own property and it took about half a fucking hour 
I, I changed that in a tube that night on the stream. The bastard thing fucking burst. It burst. Then when I changed it for the new tube, the new tube fucking burst right there and then. So I was looking at either walking all the way up the road with that fucking bike, which would have been about three quarters of an hour. Or locking up somewhere for the night, risking it getting knocked. And then who came by? Stream viewer Satalo Disco, who had been watching the stream. And fucking let me put my bike in his motor. And he gave me a fucking lift up the fucking road, man. In a dark night. And I think it was rainy. I can't remember. My mind has, thankfully, rubbed a lot of it out. Ross played this game, sings to three quid. My granddad, Joe Welsh, is dead. He lived a long life through a long life through a lot of hardship. He was a trooper, my uncle still kicking about. Though. Aye, 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 I remember you, I remember your granddad. Joe, your uncle, Joe Welsh. Um, I used to... Me, he he was into all his keyboards and he had a, a, a kind of Hammond organ sort of thing in his room. He's like the only fucking cunt I saw in the whole of Can Wadry, like actually like, pl like playing an instrument. He was an amazing keyboard player. I remember him at like primary school age. I wasn't in pre he was in I think maybe St Vincent, so I was in Can Wadrick. Um always playing a keyboard. And then getting a bit older, I was into my computers. He was into his music, so I got Cubase and this MIDI card for my computer and we went and bought a fucking tone module and we wanted to make fucking dance music together. It ended up being kind of shite, but, um, because we didn't have things like compressors and an actual synth, it's just a fucking tone module, pre, like presets, you kind of did it anyway. Um, but Joe was... Joe is one of my earliest memories because I remember seeing him in my nursery in Manswood next to Cam Modric. So I must have been about fucking four. And that was before he went to St Vincent's and I went to Cam Modric Primary. I, I remember him, even back then. I could be fucking wrong. He may go that. I didn't go to that nursery, mate. Oh, you're welcome, Ross. Everybody, the person I'm talking about there. Then you remember me telling you about um, the German kind of acid band hard floor dance music and how I had a CD called Trans Europe Express 2 and on it was a song, but it was a compilation album and on it was a song called Reverberate Opinion by Hard Floor. And I was like, oh, I like this. And then there was a guy, I had a pal, who was like, oh, have you not heard of Hard Floor? Oh, they're, they're cracking. So I went out and bought a CD. TB Resuscitation. First song, Lost in the Silver Box. I was like, oh, fucking, I love, like, the first fucking five seconds, I fucking love these cunts. I used to play it all the time, and I would talk to my pal about them, and how I'd love to make tunes like that, and... And we used to go to Hangar 13. There was like a big group of people that used to go to Hangar 13. He used to go to Hangar 13. A lot of people did. One night in Hangar 13, which is a kind of ravey sort of club, um, they played Lost in a Silver Box by Hard Floor to chill things out because the music was all kind of fast in there. It was almost like, it wasn't happy hardcore, but it was kind of, Dum 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 Some of it was kind of like that. I had like bits and pieces and that isn't happy hardcore I know right but I had that, I had like fucking rhythmic state and ultrasonic and that sort of stuff. 
and then lost in the silver box is sort of hard as it is it's kind of a wee bit slower it's like about 120 bpm I think um, and when I heard that I was like oh fuck fuck no way do you know they, they never played that they never played that and I was running about for my fucking pal where is he where is he where is he do you know where do you know where it is do you know where it is you know to find him to go like fucking look look listen to what's playing because it was a kind of memory of I listened to that compilation CD one of the songs is by Hard Floor he said oh Hard Floor good and that's what got me into them and that's this that, that was my favourite song still is so I was like running about and when I found them when I found them I went where is it where is it oh I went like here he's like what is it what is it I went listen lost in the silver box Anyway, like that. And what? I mean, I don't know. What? You went. I. I went. That was Joe Welsh. Um, I mean, I was perhaps a bit too over enthusiastic, uh, obviously, Eki and all the rest of it, like every kind of else in the place. And he wasn't like that, he wasn't like this. And what? You know, he wasn't like that. He was just like, because I was like, where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Aye, everywhere. Everybody's like, oh, you're looking for us. You're looking for us. Aye. This. You know, because he. You know, uh, see you later, right, bananas. I'm sure he's saying Welsh. Joe Welsh. As in. To be from Wales. But that's his name. Um, I was happy. Did you hang about Arden? Aye, for a bit. Jill Badge, aye, thanks for gifting that sub. Thank you very much, gifting that sub to Ross Plays Games. Ross, say hello to him, Fariza. I mean, I could go into Facebook and say hello to him myself, but. Alright, Joe. Hello. And what? 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 Hmm? Danny, thanks for 200 bits. Thanks to the chat for the VIP shout. Your praise is enough for me. Heavy as a head that wears the VIP. Danny, what are you on about? Can I just say, by the way, there's 2,145 people watching according to this. But just after saying goodbye to Right Bananas who said goodnight, no, Jack Dini has said I'm away to bed and he's getting a good night. Now, at some point, people are going to get good night fatigue. So basically, you're going to do what I did with Joe Welsh and you're going to make a big deal about something and nobody's going to give a fuck. You're going to get Joe Welshed. You're going to go like that. Um, right. That's me away to bed now, everybody. And you're going to get nothing. So, it's diminishing returns, as they say. I think with each new person saying, right, night, night. It's going to be half the reaction before, and then half again, half again, half again. So, don't take it personally, everybody. Don't go to bed thinking nobody notices me. Yeah. 
you notice you. Inspirational, thank you very much. Ladies and gents, let's do this delivery. Five hours in the game. Five hours in the game is four minutes or time. So we're going to go for another 20 minutes. What's that? Five past one. We're going to go for another 20 minutes. Probably take us up to about half one. And then, Betty bye bye. Weege says, you are noticed and you are valid. When you go to bed, good night to you, all of yous. I, I read that rang here, Weege, I thought you were trying to squeeze in a bit of a kind of, like you were actually saying good night. Everybody, yous are all noticed and you're all valid. That's me saying good night though, so see because I said something inspirational there. Could I get a good night? She does like kind of interview thing. Hi there, okay. So, let me just ask you this question. What makes you think you should get a goodbye? In less than two minutes, why should you get a goodbye? That's a really good question. I think I should get a goodbye from everyone because I work well on my own, uh, under my own initiative, in my own initiative, using my, I mean with, to, and work well in a group. I like camping, cycling, and socialising with friends. Ross plays games thanks to three quid. Thank you for the memories. My uncle was still as mad as he used to be. My granddad was an inspiration. Fought through everything. Glad you remember them. Thanks again for reminiscing me, my night. You're welcome. We'll see you later. Hell whiskers, thanks to three quid. I'm off to bed. Let me good night. Hyper Warlock thinks the 300 bits Christmas special, how come you're so skinny? Um, I got into losing a lot of weight, ended up starving myself, I was under 11, 11 stone, it was just bad news. Finley, Val, thanks for the sub. Your hairline is looking awfully high tonight. Keep on keeping on. Can you say hi to Zoe and the nurses in Ward 3B, please? Hello to Zoe and the nurses in Ward 3B. Awful stream, awful community. Jill which I think it's 300 bits. It's my birthday today, it's a birthday gift. Could I keep my VIP till next birthday? That's not how it works, sorry. That's not how it works, but happy fucking birthday, Jill. 19th October. Rago Elliot and Hilarious Consequences. Thanks for the sub and bits. Ever Joe Welsh to anybody yourself? Oh, I all the time. Yeah. That's one thing you've got to remember when you get a bit pissed off with somebody. Can I believe it? I went to that effort and kind of walked up to them and it's like they didn't even notice. And then you think back to the time, you told me you did that bit last week, remember that person? Fuck, that's right. I remember that person who went like that. Oh, so what about you? Did I even answer them? Did I even fucking answer them? I 
a fellow bro. Thanks for the sub. What's happening in the chat here then? What's happening in the chat here? Hmm. Hmm. Nothing to see here. Fuck it, we're driving. Keep driving. We don't need to go to the garage. Oops, a daisy. Quite a bit of damage. Quite a bit of damage. If only I... I if only I kept on seeing... Nothing. What's that? Let me go to bed. You go to fucking bed. Kill Cake sings to 200 bits. Happy birthday shout out to Jill. Be Jill with a jai. Happy fucking birthday. Here Kate, you know I'm going to try and get it for the morrow. I'm trying, I'm going to get an update for the alert system that plays sounds so that if there's anything that you mods would like to alert me to you simply do the alert and I'll go ding something like that Wolfie's Lair Oscar the Grouch 92 and Cynical thanks for the subs you're welcome to the entertainment mate Banter and memes forever. Da -na 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 -na. Honestly, that fucking dream I had all day. Nightmare that I had responsibilities. I had... It was like a bit of school that I had to finish off. Mixed with like a bit of work. You know, like I was back in school when I actually had to finish off an exam or... I hadn't yet finished. It, it, it was like present day. It wasn't, you know, you know what dreams are like. It wasn't as simple as this. Oh, this hilarious sitcom where this person realizes that they hadn't finished a certain exam in secondary school, so they have to go back and, you know, it's just all dreamy. Didn't make any sense. But I was like, oh fuck. I suppose I've got to do this right. And I, I remember. I think I remember now. I remember in the dream thinking, I could just. Wait a minute, I can just leave school. I can just leave it, leave it. Can I? I think I can just leave it. I can just leave It's like fucking 60 or something, I can just... I don't need it. I'm, I'm doing other stuff now, I don't need school. I thought I just leave, but I don't, I don't think I was that sure. But it did make me feel better. And then I woke up and realised, no, 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 you've left, it's finished, school's finished. Not just that, but you don't have any fucking responsibility, you've got no telly stuff, no books, fuck all, you've made no commitments to any cunt. It is not going to get any better than this. You've been dreaming about this for years, man. Dreaming about this for years. Oh my God. I love nothing more than nothing. Chris, thanks for 200 bits. Thank you very much. Oh God. Here, yeah, wait a minute. Okay, it's fine, fine.
Who wants to know what perks I was using as survivor earlier? Alright, I'll tell you. Actually, they're shite. I was a... Uh, where was I? What's his name? Who's the old cunt? I played it Okay. I went, um... Where'd I go? Bill. I Bill. Because I wanted to get... What's the one? Uh, uh, um, what was it? What did I have? Kindred. Uh, I don't think I've got borrowed time yet, ever. I might. But I also wanted Unbreakable. As in, you know, for them to pop up, you know, as uh, teachables. As in other. Other survivors can then use it. Get it. You don't have to play them and unlock them. Generally, you do though. What? Are you do? No, you don't. You what? You what? But... But how can you get... But how can you get... Is that just killer stuff? You just need to put blood points into them, not actually... Play them. Oh, aye, 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 I know that, I know that, I know that, I know that. I think I was just playing them because I did want to actually use some of the perks that I did want to then use with other characters, if you know what I mean. You what? Well, see the perks that I wanted from Bill? Borrowed Time. Unbreakable. I think. They are, they are perks that are like, so why not play that character who's got the perks that you want if you think they're so fucking useful and are going to make the game so much better? Why don't you go with the character who actually has the fucking perks? Hmm, don't know how to explain this better. Right, what am I not getting? What am I not getting here? What am I not getting? Because I have, have, I have said that I didn't know that you don't have to go that character, for example. I mean, I did level up um, uh, the plague to 45 and beyond in order to get Infectious Fright for my other characters. It's just the infectious fright by itself. The, the, the plague is so shite, kinda, that I didn't really want to go her at all. So I just leveled her up without actually playing her. But there's two perks that I want to get for Bill, and I think you start with them, which is. Um, I think Unbreakable and Borrow Time. Is that correct? Because I can't quite remember. I'd have to fucking open it right now and look which I'm going to do. Right, right, so if I'm willing to level up Bill or be at 45 and beyond to unlock the teachable perks because I think that these two perks are so useful for some other character that I want to go um, why not just fucking go uh, Bill who comes by default with half of the fucking perks that you want to use for the, whatever Bill whatever other character you want so that's why I'm going Bill 
because I've already got borrow time. Right. Teachables are from level 30 onwards. Is that true? David Boy says teachables are from level 30 onwards. Is that true, everybody? Bastard. 30, 35, 40. Alright. That's right, that's right, that's right. Oh, I'm nearly there then. Your logic is sound, thank you very much, my dear. And Kate was saying earlier, <laughs> I don't know if I can explain this any more clearly. Um, <laughs> I've tried everything I can with this, this boy. Um, what is it? What is it? He's a challenge, uh, you know, you know, uh, he is a challenge, um, but you know, it's, it's, it's life, I love a challenge, I love puzzles and try to work things out. What is it that he doesn't get about this really simple thing that I'm saying that explains quite clearly why he's so fucking wrong? What's he not getting? <laughs> What's he not getting? He's a st I mean, I know you shouldn't say this, right? But he's a stupid boy, that limmy, isn't he? He's just fucking stupid. He is. Bend and Zeno, thanks for the subs and three quid. Yes, I have Xenon, I've talked about it. Chris thinks they're 200 bits. Leave lunch covered in curry. Takes you back to the old drinking days, man. And that Brigton fucking bandstand, whatever the fuck it is. Covered in curry. Early afternoon fucking steaming. A few hours before, I was in my office, been drinking all night, on Yahoo chat all night. Phoned Lynn to say, or texted her, that's me heading back now. Spent the night in the office, having a wee drink, that's me coming back now. Made my way back home, Saturday afternoon or maybe Sunday. Popped into a wee pub on the way back. Had a wee pint. And then another pint. And then I went to another one. And I had a pint in there. And then another one. And then I went to Brighton and I thought, back home, and I thought, you know what? I'm going to go to that pub there that I keep seeing that I've never went in there. What's it like inside? Fuck it, I'm going in there. One pint after another, fucking steaming. Lynn's photo you face down in love flip. That was that was like fuck all that. That was, I think that's because I was a bit shattered for the night before. I think we'd been out the night before, or you know that wasn't me. I don't think that was me. Pure fucking wrecked. There. I might we might have been out for a few drinks, I can't quite remember, but I wasn't it was it was it was for the night before that. I finally went like that, right, I suppose I better head up the road. Went and got a curry, ate it underneath the bandstand or whatever it is in Brigton Br the Brigton Brigton Cross, something or all. And Lynn, who just happened to be going to the shops at the time, saw this guy wearing a shirt with curry over him eating out the fucking metal sort of tin thing with the rice and the curry just eating it with like scooping it out with the fucking lid curry on him just some alky guy who was it? it was me she 
She walked right by me, didn't bother saying a thing. I didn't see her. Went up the road. Like, she went up the road and I caught up about 10 minutes later. I was sick all up the fucking walls, man. Up the, um, I was sick up the toilet wall, I remember. They were the days, man. And that was nowhere fucking near my low point, man. That was nowhere near rock bottom for me. Nowhere near it. Right. Don't know why the stream would be stuttering, it all looks connection wise, it's all fine here. Do you know how to get to your bed? I said I'll park it. But if you go to bed, I said I'll fucking, 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 fucking park it. Jimmy Wanball, Bend and Gregor, thanks again for the subs. What's your favourite type to go out for? Indian. Always hits the spot. Star stream, don't know why, nothing to do with me. Nothing to do with me. There we go with it. There you go. There you go, pal. You come and join. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry about the hell in it. The plant will return tomorrow. Hmm. Something's happening there. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Ashley. Ladies and gents, thank you very much. What time's it? Half one? Is that all? Pfft. That's nothing to me. Hardcore? Like, like, let's see who's on, who's on, who's on. Oh! Right. Okay, okay. 
Okie dokie. Um, ladies and gents, thank you very much for the subs, the resubs, the bits and the tips. To any new followers, welcome. And mods, thank you very much for uh, dealing with all these spoilers, the um, the uh, American Truck Simulator spoilers tonight. Thank you very much. No spoilers, please. No backseat gaming. I will be back on in approximately eight hours. 9.30am Glasgow time for Red Dead Redemption 2. I was talking about Dead by Day. Let's read it. Dead, 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 dead. Red Dead Redemption 2 and I'm going to blow the fucking head off a of, half of that, that, that game. I'm going to take my shotgun to their heads and blow their fucking heads right off because I'm sick of it. I'm sick of being treated like a fucking doormat in that game. I'm sick of people know, just walking about like, like I'm not a fucking madman. I want some respect and I want some fear. I'm going to take people's heads off. No, no, I'm going to come across as a pure decent guy. But privately I've got a real, I've got a double life. Secretly, I like to go up to like people's wee farms and fucking blow their heads off and then go away and then say, Do you, do you, hear, about, do you hear about what happened back here? Yeah? Do you hear about that? God, that's terrible. He, he's gone. I was, when I heard about it, I was sick. I don't know what's happened to this place. I will lead the investigation. Thanks for watching everybody. I will be back on in about 8 hours, 9.30am Glasgow time. We're going to take a trip back into cowboy land. We're going to do submissions. And we're going to kill some people who don't deserve it. It's time to get evil. Let's get evil. That's what the game's for. So we may exercise that part of our mind in a safe environment. Safe for me, want to be safe for them, let me tell you that. Thanks for watching everybody. I will see you in about 8 hours, 9.30am. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.